We've got the legendary Ariel Pink. I would say definitely the favorite musician of the Danny Mullen channel. Yeah, probably the only the only one. The only one. It's yeah. his birthday today. We've had some musicians circling the drain. That's the only way to describe this podcast. They're, they're the in the drink. closet, though. He's a rock star. <laughs> <laughs> right, rock Fez star. doesn't play an instrument, Ariel. <laughs> yeah. Not that kind of instrument. <laughs> <laughs> he plays a flute of sorts. <laughs> <laughs> we, should get Fez to, uh, we should get Fez over here. There's uh, there's no read on that. But, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm, I'm going to not go down this. He went back to the closet. He's, he's here. Oh, there he is. Fez, can you take a seat next to Ariel Pink very quickly? <laughs> yeah. I just want to tell a story. We were in Death Not Valley. Not next to me, please. Not just, too yeah, far next to him. Come on. You've seen his stances on Twitter. You've read his Wikipedia. You know he doesn't like your kind. <laughs> so, Fez... We were in Death Valley, were we yes, not? We have, yeah. Yes, we were. Taking Fez to Death Valley, that's a risk. This is literally how boneheaded the idea was. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to a national park at the absolute worst time of year, summer. It was 120 degrees. And what if, wait for it, I brought a fat guy? Yeah. With possible diabetes. I think he might... You might be on medication. That's intent that right there. I, I would say, uh, in, 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 you know, it's for to, rationing. To kill. Yeah. Oh, yes. We. I did have him drink a gallon of water beforehand, so legally Smart. I'm hoping that clears my name. But we took him up this canyon called Golden Canyon. And when we told all the staff at the visitor center, like, yeah, me and, and this guy are going up Golden Canyon. They're like, you got no, that's, is that a, you can't. I'm looking. It's 2 in the afternoon right now. You can't go into Golden Canyon past 9 a.m. We get there. There are signs everywhere. You will not be hell of act. Extreme heat. Do not go. Hike at your own risk. Skulls and crossbones. Yeah. Literal skulls unburied on the earth. How many people like Fez have died there, you think? Oh, countless. But we go up there, Leo, and he gets a mile up the canyon without any kind of signs of exhaustion. And then he just starts saying one word over and over. Shade. Shade. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Shade. I, th I thought it was shit for a second. He was screaming that. that. He was it, screaming that. Shade. It was 125 shade. degrees oh, in the canyon. That's 100, insane. 125 degrees, and he'd hiked a mile uphill in 125 degrees. Was there like a like a, like a a water, like an outhouse or something like that, or like some sort of like water no. uh, well or whatever? No. No well. There were no comforts of any kind. And wow. I made him take his shirt off to demean him and pose for a thumbnail. I really like that. Well, he's, he's he's probably got like Sherpa, Sherpa kind of uh, 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 genes or something like that. Do you have any ancestors from Nepal? What? From Nepal, Fez? <laughs> no. Uh, you would make a good Sherpa. I be, think so. You need to work on your endurance. You know, he had like, despite everything he's done to himself, mm -hmm. he actually kind of like he made it a mile up Golden Canyon when everybody said we would perish if we did that. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, you can at least cross a border, which you probably have, no doubt, at <laughs> some point. Yeah. Did, did, did you, did you like, come back with like you in his arms kind of thing? We, Shh, don't stay sleeping. <laughs> that would have been great. A good Sherpa would have carried me over the finish line when we got back to the car. But no, alas, myself and my cameraman were carrying him. Oh, wow. Or Jeez. propping it. That's, that's an error. Was record. Kelvin in a hoodie? Tell me. Yes, yes he, was. he was. What is wrong with him? But let's get to the point of this story. So Fez, first of all, we're playing Street Fighter that night after a hard day of shooting. Fez, um, who there are accusations swirling that Fez is a homosexual. Multiple. We found a Burner Threads account of his where he was asking muscular black men and a prissy Asian men. Handsome Asian men. To hang out. Yeah. Well, Fez, we start playing Mortal Kombat and... I can't put my finger on what is strange about his character selection at first, but then Kelvin points it out that Fez exclusively plays with women characters in Mortal Kombat. That there is no bigger sign of, of gayness. <laughs> there is no, no that for sure, that is a gay thing. To Street Fighter, first not Mortal all, Kombat. Street, Street Fighter. Fighter. There we go. Yes. Dummy accounts all, and, I was, and, and I was choosing the random characters that I like, not just women. Just put it out there. What a great defense. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what were you saying, Ariel? Uh, well, there's no such thing as women uh, avatars. I mean, they're, they're all just uh, cartoons, right? I mean, I mean, that's, is that, that what it comes yeah, down to? Yeah, they have titties and, you know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but maybe they're not real. They're, they're Technically, fake you're right. titties. Technically, you're right. Are Here, they, you think they're non-binary, all of them, then? I think that I think that anybody that plays video games, for the most part, is, 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 is a little bit, yeah. Yeah, I'm just yeah, I'm real, I'm willing to make blanket statements like that about I, gamers. <laughs> I am too, and I, and I think it's also like you know it's it's 
I'm, I'm not a big orientation guy. Like I, I kind of think that like you know, under the right circumstances, everybody will be gay. Yeah, at yeah. some point. I like that. Yeah. No, like, and, in jail and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna yeah, get like into. Daniel, I like to see cocks at the damn time. Okay, no, that's relax. that's ridiculous. Hey, watch don't talk about. It. <laughs> <laughs> Are you don't want me to bring that. up your threads again, <laughs> you little bastard? <laughs> he's probably made some new posts in the times since last episode. Oh my god, uh, Ariel. Speaking of gender, we understand you made some inflammatory comments during your big comeback show at the oh, Mayan no. Theater here in Los Angeles. We heard you walked a trans member of this household. Yes. Uh, somebody was there in attendance without you knowing. You went up there like, blah, blah, blah. Fuck these people. Fuck. And then this person went home in, in fear for their life, perhaps. They're here. We're going to talk to them. Mm-hmm. Also, they may or may not have masturbated on Saltine's face. A lot of loose ends to tie up. Yeah. But the second part about Fez's Street Fighter gaming that was very suspicious was, so check this, Leo. When him and I played, he would demolish me. You know, I tried to take him on as M. Bison. I was trying to find that downward slide kick that M. Bison does. Completely broken move. I thought I'd wipe the map with him. Fez repelled the attacks easily. Demolished me. I tried a second time with uh, Blanca. You know, the electric eel guy. I was trying to do the fireball. No dice. Fez kicks my ass. But whenever he plays Kelvin, who's a fellow Latino, (laughs) slender, flowing long hair, Fez fell apart. Kelvin was beating Fez? Beating the shit out of him. That's weird. He was playing Questionable. Vega. He got so much range power. Uh-huh. He was going to lose. Was it the, the word Vega being so close to Verga that threw you off? <laughs> <laughs> but, and then I played Kelvin. because so I was like, Kelvin has to be a world champion street fighter for how much he's demolishing Fez, given how Fez played me. And I kicked the shit out of Kelvin. Th- this, is, no, this, this is weird. It happened over and over. Kelvin's a a, a boy? A boy. A a, a boy, a Latino boy. A boy that I I think a gay man would like. In the show. He's he's, uh, he's a cameraman, new cameraman. A camera guy. Nico retired. But what was he, was he, was he playing as a girl or as a boy? He was playing as men. As a boy. Men characters. Only only Fez does the the woman thing. Correct. Yes. And I just think, the sample size was very large. Across the board, I would whoop Kelvin. Fez would whoop me, and Kelvin would whoop, would whoop Fez. And I really think that Fez is secretly attracted to Kelvin and would get shaky hands whenever Kelvin selected Vega, which sounds like Verga, mm-hmm. and squared up with he him. Just likes to get, he just likes to get beat up. He, like, he likes to, be, to, t- to take it, I <laughs> so would say. That's something right? that we now know. So he might be a bottom is what you're saying. I, I don't know if those, those terms are still valid these days, but... <laughs> I, I think it's kind of racist mm-hmm. to say it. You can't say it is racist to call someone a bottom. I can't, you can't even say the word racist without it being racist. Uh, it was racist what you just did. I Ariel, know. you're in a good place right now. I'm glad Ariel's I'm, here. Ariel, you seem healthy. You seem. I'm, I've, I've come back a little bit, you know. And I, like it. I got a yeah. I got a titty pick right right a couple minutes ago. So. That's huge. That is that's what you want. That's how you know you're doing well in life. Wow. Would you say that's how you know you're doing? A dog is barking in its approval. It's who you're attracting. That's 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 what you need to remember. That's the important thing. And are you still in a relationship, Ariel? It's my birthday, though. Of course, it's it's his birthday. Happy birthday, Ariel! June twenty fourth. Is that where we are right now? June twenty fourth. And I just found out that that, that Frank Zappa's last performance was on June twenty fourth in Czechoslovakia. Wow! Wow! wow. Coincidence. I, I can see you definitely being a big Frank Zappa guy. Yes. So Ariel's here. He seems healthy. He's shooting the shit. He seems like a podcaster, more of a podcast. You used to have musician vibes. Whenever you used to hang out with Ariel Pink, he seemed like he was coming off a bender. Mm-hmm. He seemed like his mind was sort of you know, up in space, just working, th- thinking about chords and treble clefs and things like that. Mm-hmm. And it was hard to have a sustained conversation with him. But now, like the guy is with us. He's present. He seems happy. The color is restored in his face. When's the last he looks time, great. When's the last time you went on a bender? My life has been one long bender. <laughs> my life is sorry. My life has been one long bender. Mm-hmm. Turn me up. <laughs> no, um, I don't know, man. Into that. Know right when I praise you, you start. I, I just don't know. What, I just don't even know what you're talking about. I, just, I honestly, oh, yeah. a backhanded compliment. I sure, sure. <laughs> yeah, I remember 
quote when we did the great Beatles video with oh, Ariel man. Pink in 2020. <laughs> I was there. I remember there was a, a copy of a book. I don't remember if it was Moby Dick or what it was, but there was a book that was in his recording studio that was exclusively there to snort coke off of. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a quote from Ariel himself. Hopefully, it was a hardcover. I think I, I think I know that book. Yeah. What book was it, Ariel? I think it was the intimate sex lives of famous people. <laughs> 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 Great book to snort coke off. And then also an anecdote about that video because I that's one of the classics. My editor just watched it again like a month ago and was like, "Holy fuck, dude! That video blew my mind. It was a lot of fun. The song was great." But I remember Ariel like that was at the height of your "I'm on a bender" Ariel phase, and I remember you recorded it into a cell phone that was on the floor like six feet away from where we were doing vocals. And you were so like lo-fi avant-garde about the recording process that you thought that would sound great for a YouTube video. (laughs) And of course, it sounded fucking awful. It sounded worse than like a jail phone rap album. And we had to re-record those vocals. The fans are going to love it. They're gonna be. They want that stuff. The, those bootlegs. Sure. You know, the, the, the oh, sort yeah. of the. Oh my god, dude. The smile sessions kind of thing. You know. Dude, oh, the yeah. Ariel Pink, Danny Mullen, Beatles bootlegs. I'm. So, I'm gonna be like, you know, selling that shit like on the side. You, <laughs> you, guys, you guys aren't getting any be. credit. You should be. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's how we know that Ariel was on drugs back then because he <laughs> was trying to record everything we were doing on an iPhone. And meanwhile, there were thousands of dollars of microphones all around us. <laughs> You're an ass. You were an asshole, Ariel. I am an asshole. Come on. <laughs> I can say it. Okay, so we got a lot to get into here. So much to get into. We got Zach Adelic, fan favorite here from all the way out in Tennessee. You it's, guys are going to have to like wrench me and t- they just pull me out no. aside uh, you, whenever you're done. The first you're a third mic, so don't even worry about okay. it. The first storyline I guess we got to pursue is the transphobic comments that were made on stage at the Mayan. If, <laughs> if, if you Ariel would, Pink. if you would. Oh, the Mayan. Yeah, if you would. What is What was said on stage, if you remember? I, I mean, I think uh, I think that the the trans person that you guys are talking about yeah. was me. I think, I think I'm the one. I was I was in I was in high heels and a dress in that one. Yeah. Well, that and I had sense. and I had a, and I threw my uh, my 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 hairpiece into the audience. <laughs> they didn't know that I was bald underneath there. I'm also a cancer patient. Um, there's no such thing You're as cancer. You're bulletproof. Yeah. There's no such thing as cancer. See, he's universal at his dismissal of various things. Mm-hmm. Well, should we bring Joni onto the podcast right now? So. Is that Fez? Thank you. I think so. We're bringing, we're replacing one member of the LGBTQ community with yeah. another. Yeah. And Fez, go get some electrolytes. Fez. I think you might, you might have a uh, uh, Joni uh, confused with the person that beat up Dave Chappelle <laughs> at the Hollywood Bowl. That was a black. That was a black man. Who was a trans? I think uh, it was a Mexican trans woman. No, it's a, it's a black. It was a Mexican woman. I could be wrong, but that, I, mean, I think it was a black woman. Ariel Pink right now, dude, is crushing it. I mean, um, it's, I don't know what's going on with Ariel's socks. I can't talk shit though, because it looks like a either I just rubbed my face around in a bakery, or a guy came all over me. I don't know. I'm just covered. I've got, in I've got like nails in my shoes that like stick up, and I need to get, uh, I need to double up on my socks in order to make it so that I don't um, impale myself. I've been there in vintage shoes. That's what happens. The pain of wearing vintage shoes. There are actual nails in those shoes. Yeah, because yeah, they were made well back in the day. Yeah. yeah. Probably a long time ago. Okay. Yeah. Great. Well, Joni. Joni, welcome. Do you have any grievances to air here? Um, no, I don't really have any grievances, actually. And, and like, that was misconstrued. Um, there wasn't, like, any comments made towards it. You have a song called, like, The Ballad of Bobby Brown. and Bobby um, Pin. Oh, uh, Bobby. I th- I'm sorry about that. I remember, I, I know he was, like, some guy who was around here in, like, Hollywood. And I, I remember hearing that song on singing at stage. And I know you, like, say, like, um... I didn't sing like that song. Tinseltown that Tranny or something is like what it, what like the lyrics are. <laughs> and I just like didn't know what it was or anything. I just don't know you very well or anything. And I didn't know like where you were coming from about that. Um, where were you coming from? I, Mario? I appreciate. I, well, I mean, I was. Uh, I and appreciate... I'm like, uh, by the way, I'm not against that word being used in songs. Like one of my favorite musicians ever, like Cher Strawberry, in like the band Twam Sacks. They like use that and like it's like a common thing. So it's not like I'm against it or anything. I just was wondering like where you're coming from with it. No, of course. Like you can't be against it. Was this a setup, guys? Is this? No, it's not a setup. <laughs> Talk to Brooks. I think people were just, trying to pin it. There was pin it first, as first more of, of all, a bad thing, but it's there really was a, not. I just a, like, first have of all, questions. there's a Jew behind it. All right, Talk to Brooks. <laughs> uh, after. Well, we'll we'll get to them. We'll get to them next. But yeah. I'm just saying, I have lots of trans friends, by mm-hmm. the way. Mm-hmm. Clark and the himself. I don't know if you guys know that. I don't know if that's trans. I, 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 half the time, I don't know whether people want to be. 
outed as trans because some people are pretty convincing when they come when they present. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And you might so, as well. so it almost kind of like you know defeats the whole purpose. Yeah, why right. cheat like, them yeah, out of like, it? Like, yeah. I mean, why, they they were having a great conversation with with some 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 Mexican dude at a bar. You know, like but why why would you? Rain yeah. on that parade and basically like you know out you know Jody I know he's drunk but you Jody know, and Ariel would you cares? do you see <laughs> outing a, a guy as trans as like going down into the ocean and, and telling uh, all the minnows that the angler fish is light well is I think I think I think that there's there there seems to be in the that was a good analogy in the Nobody LGBT community the okay. Moby Dick yeah. reference okay. Moby Dick um, uh, yeah no um, th- there seems to be uh, some sort of a uh, 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 Consensus that, that 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 being in the closet is a bad thing, and I and that's uh, in the LGBTQ community. Like it seems like they don't they actively have a thing against people in the closet because it it, it kind of undermines their whole yeah, yeah. agenda. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. so so it, it in my I mean as as a, as an advocate for uh, you know oppressed minorities, I mean I definitely. Mm-hmm. Um, Definitely stand behind the people in the closet in this in this mm. situation. Okay. Uh, so I. I uh, but anyway, uh, uh, I, I don't know if you were at the same show. Um, but it was um, my friend had just like had an extra ticket for me. It was uh, it was like I guess like two months ago. He was here in L.A. Um, it wasn't the Mayan. Was the Mayan? Okay. So it so wasn't the yeah. It wasn't that one. It was like the maybe the Fonda. Or no, no, no. It was at uh, at the uh, at the Terragram. Yeah, that, that was the one. Yeah, the, I was there. For but we didn't. Pl- I didn't. I didn't play. To you, I hate cake. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ariel. Happy birthday to you. Are these bonbons? Jody, do you see? Us as having rewarded him for being transphobic, right there. Uh, this is this is. Uh, <laughs> what are these? Meringues. I'm not gonna eat them. They probably have trans jizz. Yeah. That's well. I'm risking it. I don't have any. If if uh, if these really? were dumplings, I would we'll totally eat that. it. Well, we're gonna talk about that because we you might know that we we suspect that Saltine got his face jizzed on when he was sleeping. Long story. Oh, I but got Saltine's. But this, was Saltine at my show as well? Is this, is, this probably. Is, he probably. also lodged a few complaints. <laughs> so, what shows have you done recently? Because I Ariel, I somebody's got to fucking send me an email because I want to go see Ariel Pink live in concert. You want to see the Rolling Stones next week or like in July? <laughs> no, but I I already know <laughs> I already know them. To, I'm, uh, we're very close. We're very close. You and Ron cool. Wood? No, me and Keith Richards. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but, but yeah, yeah. Laugh all you want, Ariel. Uh, Ariel, how often do you go on like an anti-trans rant at your shows? I mean, you're talking about when I'm dressed as a trans, uh, or, or or when I'm in drag or Both. whatever. I mean, that's that's just like you know. I mean, I, that's just how I dress every day, man. I mean, that's just the way it is. But I mean, but I'm I'm a you know I'm a I'm not like I'm not like against trans people I'm, I'm against humans in general yeah. I mean that's just it's, I, I'm all an equal equal opportunity hater you know I, what I'm saying I, 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 get, what, I, I get what you're saying Leo. I, I, I really I really I, I, I just think that we're the the big mistake and I think people have have, have turned that into a, a, you know a kind of like a, a personalized grudge that I have against them when I'm just really uh, I mean I know a lot of my policies that I, that I back are, are sort of uh, pro human and pro pro country and stuff like that which kind of well the pro humans the, the people that are like pro human are kind of like the most uh, uh, homicidal and, and crazy because right, yeah. they're anti nation they're anti, anti anti country so so i have um so it it, se- it seems like we're we're zooming out a little too far here yeah I mean, okay well, well so how often do i mean i don't know how many have counted on this is it, this, is, this podcast is it an anti trans <laughs> rant your Thank you for coming out, everybody. <laughs> I think I don't think I did. I think I think I think somebody somebody must have reported that I said something, but that's that's actually totally false. Well, so, well what about Tinseltown yeah, Tranny? Tinseltown Tranny that. was written twenty years ago. Yeah, so it's all good. The, before trannies were a a thing to be reviled, <laughs> <laughs> and so so uh, it doesn't count. It doesn't count. It, it was not offensive back then, and it's still not offensive. Yeah, because my intent uh, was always. Uh, 
coming from a good place. It was always, it was always. I was just wondering, what, like, what the intent was. I was just wanting like, know. Oh my God! Like, like, uh, like, uh, like who we, like, what, who, like, who am I? You know, like, I, I, I. If you don't want to explain, you don't have to explain. No, I think, I think. I just had. I was curious about it because I was living in filth. I was living in in in, in utter utter degeneracy when yeah. I was in my early twenties. And um, and even when you came over to my house, as you as you can see, uh, um, I've been a um, one of these you know bottom dwellers uh, uh, for a long time. I mean, I've been a I've just been, in a sense, I I definitely um, uh, part of it is just sort of having a self. Uh, uh, I'm self-effacing, or, or I'm just I'm I'm happy to make fun of myself. I'm happy for others to make fun of me. Uh-huh. So so uh, because it, it gives me a sense of uh, of of power over those that um, that uh, that that would demean me. And of course, I've I've always thought that like you know it builds character a little bit. Yeah. Uh, of course, in the in today's day and age, you, there's no space for that ha- to happen. Of course not. You well, definitely you definitely have to be. Um, Anybody that's a that's a trans person has to be uh, powerful in and of themselves, and they and and I understand that yeah. urge, but I I um I actually kind of like being on the receiving end of stuff, yeah. And so so I'm always so, so I'm I'm always uh, I'm always into that. I'm I'm always going to be a, a root for the underdog, so to so to speak. Yeah. So so you Ariel, you like to say inflammatory things to uh, to stir up hatred of you because it well, makes I mean, you feel I, like an underdog. Well, I mean, I, I back in the day it was to 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 amuse and uh, and and entertain. Yeah. But but uh but nowadays it really is to to stir up the hatred of Democrats everywhere. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, no matter what. Yeah. It should be everyone's goal. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, awesome, and I awesome. and I and I'm I'm just I'm just a hard to teach an old dog new tricks, you know? I mean, I'm just basically a creature of habit and mm-hmm. so I just uh, I still slip into these modes where I, st- I think that I'm living in in a in a reasonable world and uh, and, and then I, I have you know I got I got I got uh, put in my place. And when he wrote the song Tinseltown Tranny, it was a reasonable world. And Joni, I don't think it's safe or okay to attribute any ill will to a guy who wrote a song 20 years ago called Tinseltown Train. Yeah, no, I I wasn't really, you know, I was just like curious about like w- like what did it actually mean, like the what the lyrics are. Like, well, Jody, well you, there's it, actually no he, lyrics in the song if you if you heard it. He was I when I looked it up it says like he was a Tinseltown tranny mayor of the Sunset. Oh no, that's spread. a different that's the name of a different oh, okay. song. Okay, well then the a lot of people that, 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 that was that, the one that, that I had heard of. Well, those concerned. are the lyrics to to uh dedicated to Bobby Jameson. D- that was the one. Okay. Does the song Tinseltown Tranny switch from Major to minor halfway through. Uh, there's there's really no key in that'd that be, song. That'd be a good harmonic metaphor. But there's a lot of uh, of, of radio interference and stuff like that. That so. sounds that's good. Uh, Joni, do you admire Ariel from a musical standpoint? Yeah, no, I think your your music is really good. I don't Definitely. think you admire was, him enough because this guy's cancel roll him. He <laughs> admires me. <laughs> hey, that's, 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 oh, that's, that's a she. That's that her. is a she, Ariel. But, um, that. But no, I, can, I, I, I don't think it's a she. That is a, I don't, that's really not nice. <laughs> oh my god! It's not, I don't know which one. Which one's not nice? I don't know. It, 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 it's a problem. It's a problem. I mean, it, 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 there's no way to like <laughs> get out of this situation and and it, with with your. Uh, Mario, I wasn't like coming after you or anything, but I you're know. one who's like being rude right now. You know, it's not very nice. And it's, what about it's, them? It's, it's all fine. <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna like. Do I'm anything about Brooks. it. it just is I'm, a, I'm an easy. I'm an I easy target. This is That's Brooks' fault. I'm being, I'm, I, honestly, I, I don't. Brooks, I think. Asshole. I think. I think it's. It's really not fair to call me rude about this because I'm just being. Uh, being as, as nice as possible. How, how about we all I, just play Tinsel's Sound Tranny right now? Would that be? <laughs> it, could, it could be a bonding experience. Which Which one? The well, real one or the fake let's, one? Let's do the real one. Okay. Is it on Apple? One. Is it gonna get us demonetized? No. Is that something we want to do? Is this? Is it thoroughly bootleg yeah, enough? Let's see if we can find it's it. It's probably. Uh, you could, I think it's still on YouTube, but it won't be for long. I, I would imagine. I was just in the middle of like about to say like I really really do enjoy like, what you create sonically when you called me a man. <laughs> I was about to say that you know. Oh, and thank you. So it's like, yeah. I mean, I mean it in the best way, man. That I mean, feels great. <laughs> <laughs> this is bonding. This is going to help a lot of people kind of just feel better about this their situation. Yeah, so, I think it will. Uh, I think it's I'm good. not sure. The song better be good though. <laughs> the song, the song yeah. better be good. The song's got to be. You're good. putting or, a lot of pressure on your younger self. It's totally mm-hmm. profane. I like it already. Very commercial. I'm disappointed in you, Ariel. Oh wow! You're a sellout. 
Are they going to be able to hear this? You're coming after. You're coming after. Our I'm, I'm obviously being very sarcastic. Obviously. I don't know. You don't know much about music, Leo. You can take that too. You know, why do you think that? It's because I listen to movie themes and 50 Cent. This isn't the one that... that is that the one? This is Dedicated the one. to Bobby Jameson is the one we had said. Right, we oh, that's a song, Austin, it's a song about the mayor of the I'm Sunset Strip. I'm actually offended by this song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, Dedicated to Bobby Jameson. That was the name of it. I just was actually curious, like, what it was about. Dedicated I, to Bobby Jameson. That's one of Ariel's big albums. You're not going to answer my question because you keep dodging it over that, and that's over That's going to get his copyright but, struck. Oh, okay. So that was the one I wanted to know about, you yeah. know? That was the one that I had heard you sing at the show. Um, And, like, yeah, I just was curious. But well, it's all good. We actually didn't sing that song at the show, but but I mean, but that's that's okay. I mean, it's it might be. I think I think it's it's weird. It's, it it kind of like it, this. No offense, but like it it, it kind of reminds me of like whenever I, like I I would go into Open Chat GPT and I would just basically like I'd, I'd say say something about Ariel Pink and I would say, oh you know he's indie rock. It says whatever's on Wikipedia, and then it goes into like you know that like I've come into come under fire for for comments that I've made. Yeah. That, that have been. Uh, I uh, never uh, said anything like that. I'm not saying that you did, but okay. it reminds me of of it because because they say that I said something like derogatory about about trans people or or or, or 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 different groups. Okay, it doesn't get specific, and I'm like, could you please cite? You know, I, I follow up, and I'm just like, can you please cite uh, uh, the the articles that say you know like where where, where what song? And then it just it gives me a link to uh, to a Village Voice. That's it's a broken link, but but uh, um, then it like and I said. Uh, there's a broken link. Can you get? Can you send me a better link? Whatever. And then it says you're correct. Uh, we don't know exactly what you said, but like you know, um, it oh, refers to you. No, it you. doesn't refer to me. No, <laughs> it, 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 we don't know what Ariel said. You're right, though. Um, but 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 there have there have been lyrics of his that have been inflammatory. Uh-huh. And I'm like, okay, well, how, which ones? Which ones? Which lyrics? And then it kind of comes back to me with uh, some lyrics that. I didn't write, and are not offensive, and so so uh, in a sense, it's kind of like it's it's the it's what I don't like so much is the assumption of the presumption of guilt uh, based on on a on just uh, you know lazy thinking and uh, a rumor and innuendo. Yeah, that that to me is a is a very is a is a is a bad indictment against. Our hum- uh, humanity, in I, my opinion. I think, I think Ariel's opinions are probably shared by 50% of the people who live in Los Angeles. The reason everybody just loses their shit is because he's in music. Just uh, The Capitol Records building right now, I just saw, has the biggest trans flag flying I've ever seen in my life. Or it's, it's, a, it's completely completely captured. It's, it's, it's captured. It's captured. I mean, um, Nashville, too, but, but not as much. But, but it's pretty much going there. You're gonna have Candy Country pretty soon, and they've got Julian Casablancas. This is something we were talking about earlier. And they got, and they have them. They have them. Uh, Our boy. Uh, they have them by by the by the cojones. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, like they they. Uh, it's not him that it's. He's not captured. It's 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 that his team is captured. Now. Yeah. And he and the team runs the boss. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's the way it works. Sort of now. like how it works in the White House right now. It's how it works everywhere right now. It's it's the world is upside down and and bottoms up and all that kind of stuff. Do you have any opinions on this, Joni? I think Ariel Pink is rambling, and I don't really know what he's saying. It's getting hostile. Oh, boy. Well, I mean... It's getting hostile. <laughs> I'm I not mean, rambling. I, I'd like to also point out I'm not a Democrat. Like, I really am not. I don't have any political alignments. I think, like, making those political alignments is kind of dumb, well, honestly. Well, uh, um, uh, well the, 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 I'm very, very offended by him calling my 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 opinions dumb. All right. But, 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 it's, but, her, it's her. It's her, but... but yes. Okay, sorry. Okay, so, so here's the thing. Um, I have a specific way that I think about it, and if people want to understand it, they're more than welcome to ask me about it. Should we bring up some topics and then ask for their let me, let me make, let me make my point. Yeah. I think that most most Democrats, what, what constitutes a Democrat, is not whether they identify as a Democrat or not. I mean, they can, they can they, most Democrats will definitely not be democrats when you meet them okay i mean they're they they don't like politics they they have an, an aversion to suits in washington dc and d- anything like that that's what makes what makes people a democrat mm-hmm. is that the people that are in power that the party that's in power that's the that's democratic at this point and they're the ones that sort of run 
their 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 media and they run the media they run they run many many groups and many many uh uh ngos they know their audience they know that they, they know their voting base and they know that their the voting base is is a base that that hates politics so much that they know that they can stay in power because they can do whatever they want and their base is not paying attention to it that's the key that's what makes you a democrat is 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 your your aversion to politics on a fundamental level so 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 it's not what you identify as that really defines you it's you're a democrat until you are cast out of the Democrats for you know even I've, I've never been a Democrat but I may as well be a Democrat because I'm from LA I've mm -hmm. never Same. known a de conservative in my entire life mm -hmm. I'm the most liberal person that I know absolutely I mean I, mean, I hate to admit that but that's the truth um, but um, but uh, but the fact is is that um, that th the fact that I that I was seen as a Democrat mm -hmm. and saying things that were not allowed to be said by Democrats made me uh you know th they they cancel you one second after they call you a republican and that's it like mm -hmm. i mean it's basically the preamble to like get him out of here mm -hmm. uh, um and, and it's not like really it's just a way to kill you mm -hmm. it's just a way to to silence you and to unperson you mm -hmm. uh by calling you a member of a party that is no longer relevant as far as they are concerned they are not they don't care about what conservatives think because conservatives pay attention to politics and they are naive enough to believe that there's an actual thing going on that they, that they actually have like a vote they, they actually have a voice that they matter in, in any kind of way Joni uh, what are the chances of you putting on an Ariel Pink vinyl tonight <laughs> pretty slim I, I, I don't have one did I not answer your question I think you, I think you did uh, Austin certainly likes it producer uh, Austin I understand what you're saying I, I, mean, I mean I'm not just rambling here it's, it's, it's an overall point I, I'm saying that like we're all Democrats until until we're informed otherwise. I can't okay, th that's what I'm saying. That's I can't tell if this is code for the trans issue. If it's right. like Demo I was just talking about like, like who you actually vote for and stuff. I which is which is saying. if I you vote at all. I mean, I'm saying yeah, I'm, if you don't vote, if you don't vote, then you're you're the whatever party is in power. Yeah, I guess so. so that's 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 what how I feel about if it. If that's how you want to see it, then I guess that is how I see it. Let's. Uh, no, I Joni just don't like politics. Yeah. Let's change like the topic. It. You're right. I I uh, Ariel Pink. Love him, hate him, agree with him, disagree with him. Joni, you got to respect the guy for his musical acumen. Nah, the guy's fuck great. him after he called me a man. Sure, sure. But uh, you got to be able to separate the artist from the art, right? I didn't call him a man, by the way. What did you say, Ariel? You just called me a him. Yeah. I didn't call. I didn't. You know what? I I did it again. I'm like, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm sorry. Great. You're just absolutely great. Ariel, <laughs> if we tallied your misgenders, it doesn't serve yeah. me to be. It here might anymore, be double digits. So, no, no, no. Like, that's not. Wait, that's not. Guys, that's not fair. That's sick, for, that's personally. Fuck this dude. No, no, that's not fair. That's that, that's not fair. We've got some. There's there, there's 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 no situation. There is no situation. Later, Jody. There, there is no situation where I would ever be in where basically a trans person would be there mm -hmm. and I would be in a position of referring to them as their preferred re pronouns preferred pronouns to somebody else that was present what I'm saying is that like 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 if I were to say it in any other situation I probably wouldn't get called on it because there wouldn't I'd be talking behind a person's back in front of them like there's no that it, it doesn't really make sense I don't know why I would ever refer to him as a man or her as a man you know and that kind of thing and I and I'm and I'm perfectly happy correcting myself by the way I think Brooks it, knew this was going to happen and he could, he contrived it I think he did too yeah. I think Brooks is uh and Brooks's eyes are, are quite wide Brooks right come now, on so. come on out here that's a good uh Let's yeah, talk yeah, about this. yeah Brooks you know this, you are... this is the first time this is the first for the podcast I mean yeah. Joni friend of the show we love this Joni is my, this is what my about buddy. just Joni, Ariel Pink about, did walk yeah. Joni a transgender what about one time I've I've one time for the we're also looking for a one time one time well, for the boys just, new vacancy I went out and I talked to her and she's cool she's what if what if Ariel now just genders Joni correctly just one time for the for the boys. I, it seems I like think, he's ideologically opposed yeah, to that, like so already, I'm not going to make him. Do uh, that. No, hey, wait, 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 wait. Me? For fun. I'd yeah, like just, to change. Oh, the topic I'm, I'm to, not ideologically why opposed. To about, Joni, why don't we talk about the moon? Is Joni a boy or a girl? She's she's a, a, a trans, right? <laughs> Damn it! You almost had it, dude. You went she's. Wait, 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 wait. So wait, so wait. I'm, I'm, I'm honest. I'm mm -hmm. honest about this. I don't know. Is does she see? Does she 
Does she want to be a is she a female? That is yes. fair. That Joni, I do not think, ever stated her preferred pronouns on this podcast Correct. to Ariel explicitly. Would yeah. you have respected them had that been I, done? I was just listening to you guys. You guys were like, yeah. say, I thought you guys were cracking a joke when you said, "Oh, you just misgendered her." Mm -hmm. And I was just like, I was like, that that could be conce conceived as that could be seen as rude, you know? Oh, so and Ariel was doing a bit, I think. No, I wasn't doing a bit. You guys were doing a bit, and I basically was responding to that he bit. Was riffing, oh. He was riffing. I, I just didn't know what he was, was a joke. On a bit. But I, I had no idea what was. What's what's real and what isn't? I mean, I'm yeah. just, uh, but I'm I'm perfectly happy to respect somebody's pronouns, especially to their face. Although I don't find I don't think I'll be in a situation very very soon where I'll be in a room and they might actually listen to me misgender them because I will be talking to them, not about them, to uh -huh. somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So so it's so it's kind of like a you know it's kind of like a it it'll be a hard lesson for me to sort of get used to, but I, I can do it. If this, I, you know, this might be your Ben Shapiro moment right here because this is didn't he blow up for misgendering a chick on a talk show? I think yeah. he I think he what did he he misgendered he Candace, was like, Candace he, Owens or something? I, 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 have, was, no, I have no clue. Owens. I just thought this would be a fun birthday. Did you know this was oh, it's my birthday? Happen. Thank yeah. you. Happy birthday, Ariel. Yeah, happy again. birthday, Ariel. Uh, I happy wanted to birthday. talk about. I wanted to, again. I wanted to talk about Joni or somebody in this house potentially ejaculating on Saltine's face while he slept. Not going to get that opportunity. No. So Ariel, let's talk about our man Julian Casablanca. How does she ejaculate exactly? Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? It wasn't her that. Well, she, it's yeah, clitoral she did. stimulation. Of is course, it, is it, Ariel. Is it, is it yeah. pi isn't it pi piss? Isn't it like pee? It's. Or no, it's not. It's the sticky stuff. <laughs> I'm going to call it pussy juice. I'm going to call it. It's pussy juice. This is the voice. This is the progressive voice on the podcast mm -hmm. right now, Leo. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So, Ariel, let's talk about Julian, who this show is. It's always going to be tied to because we did the bit where I pretended I was Julian. We invited a bunch of fans over. I acted like a rock and roll psychopath in a dark room. Great video. Brooks was there. So, Julian, I saw a picture pop up. We might, you might have heard that he got divorced, moved to L.A., and I, he used to be sober, by the way, too. A picture just popped up of him on the street with a smoking hot, like, 22-year-old holding a bottle of Maker's Mark. Nice. <laughs> so Julian is, he's back. You know, he's back out there on the streets doing his thing. Well, his thing. kids are probably old enough that it's not that big a deal now. Not right? that big of a deal. And I'm a huge fan of the guy. He's, got, he's a great musician. Great song. And he looks just like you. Yeah, and I like that, too. So, Ariel, you and him, I understand, uh, because of this podcast, he saw a clip. Shout out Julian if you're watching. Love the guy. Love that he's out there getting some pussy still, just like his pops. Mm -hmm. His pops, the great John Casablancas, founder of Elite Models, legendary poon hound. But, Ariel, I understand that you two have, have made up a little bit because of the Leo and Danny show. Uh, you know, we did. He, he, and he was, he was, he was uh, big enough to, uh, to, to, to get in touch and say... Uh, uh, to offer, you know, a sort of a, 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 I don't know if it was an apology or maybe maybe it was it was, he was just he was trying to be a gentleman about it and he was just like sorry if like there was like, any kind of like a, um, a real, you know any offense taken to anything that happened and blah 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 you know I I think he was probably embarrassed uh, because we talked last podcast about how he had distanced himself from you. Since you were spotted at the Capitol on January, 6th, no, no, no. Well, no, an that, insane that, sentence. But it was, but it wasn't that. I'm it was surprised. over a girl, wasn't it? It too? was, yeah. It was, it was, it was. That was the main thing. Right. I mean, it was it, over a girl. It, it was. He was not. It, he was down to work with me after Jan six. That was. That's the, dumb. That, that, that was. Shout out to Julian. That was. That. I was stoked about that. And, yeah. and, and I was just like, okay, man, that's right on, man. You're, you're, you've got guts. And then he came back to me uh, uh, about a week later, and, um, and, and, and. Sort of like you know, he was very, very apologetic, and he was kind of like, "Ah, oh, man," uh, uh, and I'm just like, "I'm like, let me have it, let me have it." What, what, what's the, what's the letdown? You know, like I mean, we were, we were, he was down to release the record. He was excited about. He it. He loves you, by the way. I know. He I does. read an interview once, and he would just Ar Julian Casablanca oh, no, was just man. sucking Ariel's dude, dick the dude, entire dude. interview. Well, you know, and the interviewer proverbial. was like some cuck fucking music industry dude who was like trying to talk shit on Ariel and you know it was all ideological you know it had nothing to do with Ariel's music but <laughs> Julian was just like not letting the dude get away with trash and Ariel and I and I that th I definitely I definitely uh, uh, owe him owe him something for that because he's, he's he's doesn't have to doesn't have to bring me up but uh but I uh, think that uh that uh I think he's a good guy by the way um and he's a good, good sport especially after you know you guys totally like the uh, 
abused his fans and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> they like the two of the fans commented on the video and fucking loved it. I thought it was hilarious. But uh, but uh, and I'm a huge fan of the Stroke, so I I like the guy. I like. So him. yeah, yeah, he's definitely one that you want to keep on your on your team, I suppose, mm-hmm. if you're in the music business. What's your favorite Strokes record? Uh, don't don't go there, please. <laughs> I I mean I I like the the Julian Casablanca solo stuff, and don't ask me about that either. But but anyway, uh, um, I uh. This is it, okay, or whatever, okay. Like, 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 we'll, it's, oh. Is this it? Oh, is this it? Okay, shit, fuck. Oh, no. Okay, so um, <laughs> well, anyway, what uh, round you guys regained? Well, I don't know. Think I'll be getting a, a a call from Julian after this podcast. <laughs> 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 I, I uh, but uh, anyway, uh, the whole point is that we're, we're getting at is that uh, yeah, just to give a backstory. Uh, yeah, he called me up to basically let me down, um, uh, uh, and and say that he, he wasn't going to release the record because. It, it, somebody had uh, uh, brought it to his attention that I had um, intentionally given my ex herpes. Mm-hmm. And is there a word for that? There should be a word for that. Like a code word? Yeah, like stealthing. You know how stealthing is where you jizz in a girl because you put the condom on shittily. I don't know. I'm sure there's some word for it, but I but I'm I don't go on fortune or anything. While we're telling truths right now, have you ever stealthed the girl, Ariel? Which one is that? Like, what happens there? Is that is that with a with a condom or with that one? Let me see this. I, I'd like to survey the women here. Stealthing is where it's okay, it's okay. I'll explain it. I'm gonna explain it. Stealthing is where you teeter a condom precariously on your penis in order that you can tell the woman, yeah, baby, I got a rubber. It's all good. But you know when you put it in, it's gonna immediately slide off and you're basically gonna be raw dogging. Wait, but 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 is it good? Speculation, gonna... speculation, Your Honor, speculation. No, 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 but 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 I I don't see how that would be a very good way to not get her pregnant. It, well, that's the it, point. It, it, that's the point. So, so it's the guys that boys like, that want to get pre- the girls pregnant. It, it's, a, it's a guy who wants to raw dog the chick, but the chick keeps trying to make him wear a condom. Mm-hmm. But why would she want to have him wear a condom? Because she doesn't want to get an STD and or get pregnant. Well, okay, so she doesn't want to get pregnant. Yeah, mainly. Well, but then why doesn't she? She's. Well, okay, so okay. some would say that's the worst STD. You think you, you think pregnant. celibacy is a better option, Ariel? I, there's always the morning after anybody. pill. Yeah. I've never heard of anybody stealthing anybody. Which I mean, is I, why I, I think it's funny. I mean, I, I I've heard of girls that like sort of like you know try to like get you know go in, they go into like the the condom and then they basically like you know try to like that's you know, the opposite of stealthing, right? But th- isn't that more common? I, I think so, so. Yeah. especially in, in Los for Angeles. Drake. Yeah, for Drake especially, yeah, yeah. Or, or yeah, for you. Not anymore. Anyway. Ariel, have you? Not, not me anymore. Well, the, when Pom Pom came out, did you have to hide condoms? <laughs> no, no, no. Really? I know. I mean, I'm, girls don't want to have my kid. You know what song? Part, you, except for one day. Your, your baby's not, adorable. You have yeah. a child. Right? His I know, baby's adorable. That's right. So Ridiculous. it's over. You know what song Cute. I was jamming the other day? I uh, I had just gotten done with a date, and I was on the side. Done with yeah, a date? Like, yeah. what, like you had done the deed? No, the I don't want to speculate. I did not, actually. I was. It was an innocent date. And I was on a corner in Hollywood, and you know, I was like, you know what song I want to listen to right now? One summer night by Ariel Pink oh, wow. off Pom Pom. It's amazing. Nice. It's a deep cut. I love that track. Thank dude. you, man. It's a good, good romantic track too. Did you guys kiss at the end of the night, or is that too much? That would have been a good soundtrack for a kiss. Yeah, that would have been. Let's I don't like a video. People da, da, say that they lose their da, anal da, virginity. Da. Doc Ock said that he lost, uh, that I guess this girl lost her uh, anal virginity. The, the best, music. the best uh, description I can I can say, the best metaphor I've heard for my music is that it's uh, it's like an ass finger. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the first time you like you sneak the finger in the girl's ass, yeah, and like it's, a, it's like it's like paint, what, it's, it wakes stink. you up, and then it basically like and then but then you helps you achieve climax. You can't get you can't get enough of it afterwards. You know? <laughs> yeah, no, I, totally. Well, once the fingers start going in asses, it's, you've opened the demon. <laughs> Um, wow, Ariel, that's great. I'm glad you and Julian are beginning to reconcile. If you ever want to invite him to lunch, and then I'll just show up and fucking fanboy out. That'd be cool. Uh, well, I, I, I don't know where he lives now. I think him, I'll, uh, I'll show I up should, dressed like him. I should give him a call. We should call him right now. <gasps> oh Dude. my god, if he answers, Dude. Dude. We gotta charge it. Dude. Dude. All right, I'm staying on. Only staying Ariel. On. Oh, you're staying on the whole staying time. On the whole time. Man. Dude, we're going to cold call bring, Julian on the pod, Bring the fun, dude. man. Bring the, bring the fun right now. I almost feel guilty because of my yeah. reverence for the dude. To, but we're gonna I know, Well, it. you're going to be able to tell him. Yeah, I will. Be like, and, and apologize and do all the things that you need to do in order to make it right <laughs> with me. I know you're nervous. What are you going to say to him? You know, I'm just going to be like, hey, man, seen some of the trim you've been collecting the last couple of years? I like it. <laughs> Voice breaking. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> if I send you my address. And I've got some, 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 some songs. A P.O. Box autograph. <laughs> How you doing, Zach Adelic over there? We got Zach Adelic, big fan of the channel. He's loving it. He saw the first transgender walkout 
It's a monumental moment. I mean, we've been doing this podcast for five years. We have never had a trans person walk, and it was achieved. I don't want to say achieved, because that makes it sound like we've been trying to do that. It that was, was me. That that was, I did that. <laughs> yeah. You, You're welcome. He did that, it, and it did not Now it's going to it's, it's backfire, too. It's like, like they're just going to cancel you now for, for basically letting him walk off. You know what I'm saying? I <laughs> Statements like that probably aren't going to make things any better. I uh, No, they're not going to cancel. You can... I th- well, I don't know. They might, they might, they might just not let you air the show. This close to an election, monetize. I think this close to an election, there's a little leeway. Uh, no, I actually think that like that's it's worse now because uh, because now that he's in jail, they got like a little more wind in their sails to kind of do their business for a little bit longer. Yeah. So, so uh, we'll just speaking, say, of, speaking of jail, uh, Julian, Julian Assange. Lo- Julian Assange is out. He's not out. the other Julian. Julian Assange. Yeah, the other the two Julians. He is out. The founder of WikiLeaks. I don't know too much about the whole Julian Assange saga. I know he was locked up in England, basically a uh, Edward Snowden type figure, mm-hmm. which he, is, I think he's like the first, the first truly, uh, yeah, he's a, he's an Edward Snowden type figure. I mean, he was he was he was behind WikiLeaks, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. WikiLeaks is is was the whistleblower uh, a repository for basically you know scandalous and and you know for basically for. For outing uh, uh, injustices and, and stuff like that, and yes. and uh, it was a uh, an extr- it was a very very effective and uh, um, and damaging to uh, the the sort of elite stronghold that uh, that that that's that's taken all over the world, you know, obviously, and um, and uh, Julian Assange himself is Aust- Australian, which is a uh, you know, I mean, he 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 is. Which which made it you know all the all the more uh, uh, um, difficult to catch him or to, or to find him uh, guilty of of something you know I mean he he's never been tried here or anything like that but they kind of they kind of arrested him and detained him in England uh, care of um, Sweden who had charged him with some some bogus uh, 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 you know assault charges. And they used that as a pretext to sort of det- detain him. The the idea being that like you know Sweden would would partner up with uh, they would get him in the t- they, they would get him to Sweden and then Sweden would ha- pass him off to the United States where he would basically be subject to some arcane uh, espionage laws and all that kind of stuff. And uh, and that that would end up uh, being the end of him. And uh, he was in England and has been in England. Now, uh, sort of, uh, you know, uh, in limbo, solitary confinement, solitary confinement, locked up for like twenty three. Well, he was, a day. he was, he was at the Ecuadorian embassy because the Ecuadorian embassy had formally, basically, like you know, said like we don't, you know, he's he's a political dissident. We don't, we we support free speech or whatever. We 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 support his his cause. This is a sort of an anti humanitarian thing. It's a, it's a, it's a breach of. Uh, of international laws and stuff like that, so so he 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 hunkered down in in at the embassy in England of ec- the Ecuadorian embassy for many years, never leaving, and he was basically uh, you know they couldn't touch him for a while, but then something happened, and they were able to to do a uh, sort of uh, I guess they the, the the Ecuadorian embassy sort of uh, uh, they they folded or whatever I don't know what 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 did it but. They just bum rushed the embassy and they 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 took him out, you know, against his will. Got him and threw him threw him in the in, in the in, in the in the grotto. On that note, can I have Zach and Ella come here real quick? I um, uh, Julian Assange. He must have felt ecstatic when he was. Re- I mean, ecstatic doesn't even do justice because I, as you can see on Zach and Ella's T-shirt right there, I have also been unjustly locked up and i know how sweet it is to breathe free air again after walking out of that jail and i mean my stay was probably a touch worse than whatever julian went through but julian walking out must have felt great leo yes oh yeah man i mean he he finally well, well to, to, to be to be fair he hasn't walked out yet oh he's just he just stands to not be locked up here up forever or whatever i mean i mm-hmm. i I mean, he's he's been d- detained indefinitely without, you know, due process and all that kind of stuff. So, so he's just like a political prisoner in limbo, overseas. Yeah. But like basically, something came down today that more or less uh, 
uh, I guess he he made a plea bargain and had to plead guilty to, to some sort of conspiracy in order to get like uh, to see to see free time. Yeah, nice. Um, but 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 I but I think that like uh, you know just 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 this one caveat. They opened the door. They they it, it, he was a sort of a a a, a, a canary in the coal mine. You know the the, the 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 reason the excuse that they had to sort of like break these laws. And so now that's the norm, and they've m very successfully criminalized uh, journalism in a, in a sense. Uh, uh, real journalism. It, real journalism yeah. is pretty much an, a, cri a crime, mm -hmm. and they can do it again. Yeah. So yeah. It's uh, yeah, a fucking thought crime. I mean, when your experience in jail yeah. in Rogersville, yeah, yeah. I believe, of and course. and <laughs> Julian Assange it, is this experience. traumatizing to bring it up. Yeah. yeah. Would you get? What would you say? Who had? A wor I mean, would you say you're just about even with Julian Assange? I would say yeah. And the, was this because of the Solvang thing? Was it? Was this the, the, the no, the, the Solvang thing. They also tried to drag me to prison for that as well. This was because I pretend that I was a dental hygienist, which is you know in the eyes of the law close to espionage and mm -hmm. treason. And I went into a woman's mouth, just like, say, Edward Snowden went into the NSA databases. And um, you did some digging. I did some digging. I'll be honest. It looked her mouth. It was terrible. Her her oral hygiene. Was... And what the NSA was doing to surveil its citizens was terrible as well. Yeah. So in that way, I see myself and Edward and Julian as parallels. Mm -hmm. And you know, and a lot of a lot of uh, there there are like little chips that they can put in the tooth that actually can. Can you get, get you know, radio and everything like that? You can get yeah. listen, to, you miss, listen to your iPod and stuff like uh, that. Oh, wow. Listen to Ariel Pink's discography. Yeah. Can we call Julian Casablancas right now? Do we? Uh, have yeah, is my phone is my phone charged yet? Uh, we're three percent charged. So. Oh, that is good enough. Well, well, we should, yeah, we should do the phone call and then like have it lose power. That yeah, sorry. Be perfect. <laughs> what kind of charge is that? What kind of charger is that? That gave him. Oh my god, dude! Is it clay modeling or? All right, we're going to call Julian Casablancas with 3% phone charge. We're probably going to lose him halfway through the conversation. The likelihood that he's happy about how this phone call is happening, it's not high. No. And then you got to put it right up to the mic, Julian. His, or excuse me, uh, Ariel, you got to put the... You got to speakerphone it and put the volume right up to the mic. There we go. Zach and Alex got this, dude. Zach and Alex tattoo is looking great. Zach and Alex looking great. He's got some bling around his neck. He's got a tan. Or is it a burn? It's ringing. It's ringing. It's amazing. It doesn't go straight to voicemail, that's for sure. Damn. You gotta leave him a voicemail, Danny. You gotta leave him a voicemail. No, our, does Ari really want to leave it? I'll leave him a voicemail, dude. Leave him a voicemail. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude. He doesn't even have a voicemail, I'm sure. That's go, a very go big, Danny. You got to go big. This is your one chance. He's like really nervous. He's like not picking up the phone right now. He's just like letting it. He's like, what? nah. Please leave your message for. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. wait. We're oh. going to leave it. I'm, no, I'm not going to let it. I know. We're going to cut that. We're not live. I was going to leave him a voicemail. Well, you were going to take down the number, too. No. <laughs> you can try this again. He's definitely going to take down the number. Uh, I was going to take down the number. <laughs> yeah, just text him randomly. Just text him memes. Turn the week. Uh, yeah, exactly. Oh, I, I, can, I, can, I can tell you exactly what <laughs> This said, is a though. funny one. This is a funny reel, Wait, let, let Julie. Think, let me read this. Let Look at this guy. This. He's riding a scooter down a staircase. Uh, okay, he um, falls. He falls. Let me, let me read this to you. Um, mm. Yeah, into the text. You, you don't, you don't have to read the text. No, I'm gonna I don't want to. Oh, I love this. I, love this. I, love I, I think I got it wrong. I, mean, I just want to make sure that I got it right. Uh, okay. uh, you don't have to read his text. Let's just let me leave him a nice voicemail. I got to look out for my boy right here. You don't yeah, want to read private texts. Wow, dude, you really want to get get some my points. Boy, dude. You want to get some points with it's Julian. My boy, <laughs> the guy gets pussy and mm -hmm. writes good songs. Let him be, you know. <laughs> Should we call? Yeah, no, I feel bad for the guy. No, <coughs> dude, why do you feel bad for the guy? <coughs> He's a fucking legend. Throw him. He's yeah. hitting the maker's mark, man. Mark. Yeah, it's it's a dark I love, place. That picture is the best thing I've seen. Uh, can we? Uh, I'll leave him a voicemail. I want to cheer him up. You know, he might be about to embark on a tour or something. In which case, I'm going to go see him live. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe he'll be at the Wiltern again. Leah, you want to go see Julian I'm gonna, I'm Cassidy? Gonna text him, I'm going to text him right now. I'm just going to say, try to call you. Nice. Yeah. Okay. I like that. Try to get him on the phone first. We're trying to bait him to call back. Yeah. And then we'll leave him a message. A creepy, stalkerish, desperate message oh, from yeah. yours truly. Oh, yeah. It's got to be. In which I compare myself to Julian Assange. He probably respects Julian Assange for sure. 
Uh, who doesn't? Yeah, he likes that shit. But people can't admit that stuff, you know. Yeah, not in public. So, uh, Zach Adelic, do you? What do you have to share from your trip here in Los Angeles? Uh, it's fake. There's no blue-haired people screaming at me when I walk down the road. You were expecting it to be just a liberal cesspool. Yeah, big time. And instead, there were a lot of Mexicans. Yeah, <laughs> we're close to Mexico. Yeah, yeah, he's right though. There's not a lot. There's not a lot of blue hair at the at the register. You know, like at, like, like the Quickie Mart or wherever the mm-hmm. hell. Yeah, there's there's it's there's, Starbucks. There's, there's there a is. lot more of that in the South and like in like in other parts of, the, of America. Where yeah, it's like basically like that's that's those are the. Those are like the enclaves of the of the liberals. There's always the historical town bookstore that has pride flags in the window in small southern towns. And they have just as many blue hairs as we have like in L.A. that you see on an everyday basis. Exactly. We have a couple in the Starbucks that still have BLM pins. I saw this is a random political tangent, but this seems like the right podcast to bring those up on. But mm-hmm. I, not Kamala Harris, somebody was talking today about the reason there isn't going to be a crowd at the Joe Biden, Donald Trump debate is because of covid safety. And <laughs> I wanted to just drive. I wanted to put my car in the oncoming lane of traffic and just turn it into a missile and, <laughs> and just kill whoever was coming at me when I heard that. Right. But you still see people wearing COVID masks for legitimate COVID reasons in L.A. at the Starbucks. You see a lot of COVID masks for other reasons, um, planning to commit a robbery later or wanting to be anonymous, uh, throwing a Molotov cocktail at somebody on a college campus for Palestine. By the way, how do you feel about that? I guess recently there was a, um, a synagogue that got surrounded by pro-Palestinian protesters. They're not fucking around anymore. They're going after no, the they're, Jews. They're, they're going to... That's that's where I grew up was right right there on uh, Doheny and uh, Pico. That, that's that's mm-hmm. that's uh, that's that's religious territory. I mean, mm-hmm. that's and they. Uh, Ariel, were you at the UCLA uh, encampment? Were you? I was not in one of the tents. Uh, why would I? Why would I be there? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> no. I mean, obviously you weren't there. No, I know. I don't. I don't. Uh, but yeah, no, I I uh, I don't show my face uh, uh, unless I unless I'm invited somewhere. Um, but. Uh, but yeah, no, no, no. I, I heard about that. There was some sort of a, 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 a kind of Palestinian, free Palestine kind of a, a rally that was in that was going through the the streets of of L.A. That was uh, yesterday. That was yesterday, right? Yesterday, dude. I I mean, it was bad enough for the Palest the Palestinian protesters were so gnarly that Gavin Newsom and Karen Bass both denounced them. Wow. So you know, it wasn't fifty fifty if they both came out and denounced them. I don't know exactly what they did. There were tales that very a fine couple people. Jewish ladies were, be, they called them they very were fine people on both sides. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, there are obviously people on Twitter who were saying that, like, oh, the Zionists were provoking us back and being violent. But if Gavin Newsom and Karen Bass both denounced the pro-Palestinian people, it was probably pretty one-sided. Uh, yeah, but, I mean, but I'm saying... Uh, uh, what are you saying? You know, uh, no, I'm not saying anything. How many flats in the key of E? Infinite, infinity. <laughs> infinite flats. Infinity. Zach Adelic, what else did you find interesting about L.A. that you maybe thought was going to be different? I thought it was going to be like triple what I'm used to on prices. Mm-hmm. And everything's not, I mean, In-N-Out was cheap, man. In-N-Out is cheap. It's like McDonald's. Mm-hmm. Did you fuck your girl while you were out here? Yeah, once. I got one fucking me. One. Nina, was that not satisfactory? Nina, why'd you come on the couch? Yeah. Nina looks great. She... Shout A. So Nina hot? looking hot. The uh, the fans are. I understand that when we we tagged both of your Instagrams in a video last summer, yeah. that people only really followed Nina and not you. <laughs> Two hundred and fifty. Yeah. Five. No way. I and I got to say that Zach Adelic is one of the biggest fans of the channel, the podcast, everything. Big he guy. really is one of the hardcore. So give him a follow, and please yeah. do not send his girlfriend a dick pic. Yeah. <laughs> Which Please. I probably just queued up like 70 dick pics directly in the Nina's oh, fucking inbox. No. That's funny. We'll judge them together. Yeah. Sure, sure. Nice, dude. Yeah, Zach's got a little cock on him. I know that because he sent me videos of him fucking her. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He has. As for the comical, you know, use of my penis and whatnot. <laughs> yeah. It's funny. I've seen his penis in many contexts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Angles. You know, I, uh, him and I might have hung out in Nashville one night. I, I probably saw his penis at some point. I can't recall. <laughs> but <Neither>. yeah, <laughs> I can't recall. Hopefully, we were in a bathroom together. No homo. Yeah, we were in a bathroom. Yeah. Um. 
Yeah, I, I will say that it, there has been times in the past where Zach has babysat me while I threw up violently into a urinal. That's why you need me. It's a, it's a violation That's of right. protocol. Try to not throw up in urinals, people. It, this it's is why you need me. It's Dad. really yeah. I've, it's better to throw up into a bush in Vegas than it is to throw up into a urinal because mm -hmm. you're costing the restaurant a lot of money when they have to get a plumber out there to mm -hmm. to clear the pipe. Yeah. Yeah, I threw yeah. up big time. Ariel, are you texting Julian Casablancas right now? Yep. You are. <laughs> Tell him that Danny Mullen is a big fan and wants to, you know, if, you, if he ever wants to go to Koi and get some sushi, <laughs> it's on Danny Mullen. Yeah. It's on me. Hell yeah. All right, I told him. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Ariel, if you ever want to get dinner too, let's fucking, you know, fucking, we, let's get dinner again. We got dinner once. It was nice. Did you enjoy the dinner with Danny? Be honest. Do you have dinner? Why are you asking you? Leo when you got dinner? When did, with when did we have dinner? Why are you did asking you him? him? Oh yeah, no, we did have dinner. That's right. Yeah, That's it was right. nice. We went to a place in Hollywood by his townhouse. Yeah. It was go. It was yeah, I think I think I was I think I was a little bit too candid in that in that setting. Hmm. What do you mean? You were just talking about Trump. Nothing was revealed. Yes, I, mean, I, I think. <laughs> you, you're talking a lot about Trump. Yeah, it's because I liked him. Uh, yeah. How do you feel about him? Now? I love Trump. Uh, do how do I feel about him? Like no, now? Uh, I like him. See, I I wasn't sure. Like I. I can see I'm not a part of the MAGA cult. I can evaluate Trump relatively objectively. I think he's fucking hilarious. I think he's a complete legend. But my true feelings for Trump couldn't help but be revealed when I was at his rally and the motorcade drove by and he waved at the crowd and I started reacting like a little schoolgirl. <laughs> There That's what told me that, like, dude, it's not fair. It's I love Trump. Like, I, I love Trump. Are you, I feel the same. Are you not an RFK supporter? Or are you... I'm an RFK guy. We were talking he's... about RFK. I like RFK too. Yeah, uh, I like him. Both. I think I think he he confirmed uh, that uh, that RFK's dad was a. Uh, was killed by JFK. JFK. He said it on the All In podcast. He said the CIA was involved. Donald did say that. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. That's that's huge. Yeah, that's I huge. heard that. That was uh, that was dope. Yeah, he, he said it. And then the guys tried to walk it back on the podcast a little bit. They're like, no, he didn't say that. He said some people in the CIA might have told the people he knew not to reveal the JFK files. He's, he's a master at, at sort of like obfuscating uh, uh, and, and confusing. Like, like, like he didn't really say that. He said that the, 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 the CIA was not behind uh, uh, asking him to, to not, not reveal the stuff. So. I, I heard it as Trump basically saying the CIA was behind the killing of JFK. I think it's pretty much it's, confirmation. Yeah. A lot of people take I think, it like that, yeah. Yeah, I would take it. I, there's no, there's no uh, too many surprises there. But, um, yeah, I mean, uh, I, uh, let's change the subject. Yeah. <laughs> so what are we, we've talked about a lot of things today. We've talked about Street Fighter, Fez, um, we talked about Zach Adelic getting pussy, blue Hollywood, hair. We walked blue hair. Joni. We walked Joni. Let's forget that. We got to bring Joni uh, back on later. Yeah, let's, let's, uh, can I? I want a chance to redeem myself before the, before that. the show's end. Brooks, I would, would you? That. Would Brooks like to fetch Joni? He's, tell him she, and he Fez wants too. to redeem himself. Ariel wants to redeem oh. himself. And 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 I didn't mean, I didn't mean to 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 offend Fez. I don't think I you offended Zach Adelic, Is there a trans person in your town? Not one. There's, Maybe oh, now. There is. Maybe now. Oh, your your town is small. I was thinking Nashville. Yeah, Tennessee, super small. Oh, well, yeah, no. Well, which, you know. yeah, which city what in Tennessee? Unionville. Unionville. I'll spell it. Yeah. And that name doesn't imply a lot of transgenderism. No, no, I don't know any, not even. No colors. school shooters. You know, oh, it, it, it's crazy how unions used to be like, hey, yeah, uh, fucking uh, union welder. I uh, spent 17 hours on a rig out there off the coast. But now union is. The auto union represents a bunch of grad students at UCLA who are all walking off the job now because of Palestine shit, basically. Like, so now union does mean trans, right. and Union City is probably about to be, uh, well, you know. Hopefully they'll change the name. Well, it's kind of like, well, like, like, <laughs> well, it's kind of, it's the power thing, I think, because, like, you know, when we were, we dressed up at Disneyland in the trans gear, how much, we had so much power. We did have a lot like, of power. Everyone wants that power. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, yeah. I think that, like, 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 there's nothing, there's nothing cool about it. I think that, like, the ones in power need to be, I think that everybody should complain about, about when they're not in power and all that kind of, kind of thing. I just don't think that they should be in power once they get it, you know? I just think that that's, 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 that changes the whole thing. So Zach and Alec, are you working on any new sexual techniques with Nina? Uh, kind of. I make shift things up, you know. You yeah. guys have been dating Do for a Jerry long time. You Jerry-rig stuff? Yeah, about four years. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I use things, pillows, right? Well, yeah, and Zach and Alec's handy. What's the last thing you built in order to fuck her? Oh, oh shit. Physically built? Yeah. Um, oh, just taking a pill count? Well, when's the last time you yes. used creativity? You took a pill. <laughs> no. He um, used a... Like a broomstick or something. You oh fucked your girlfriend with no, a broomstick. No, 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 no. Like, don't um, let her speak. I don't know where she's going. <laughs> oh my I god. I can't remember. 
broomstick. It's one of those where you keep your legs open. Oh um, my god! Oh, oh. yeah, no, a broomstick, she, right? Uh, she's getting more followers than than you're getting got, on this he's, podcast. He's like MacGyver here. Yeah, yeah. What did you rig up here? How did so, you keep her legs spread? You you put like stirrups together with a broomstick? <laughs> what? Pretty much, yeah. No, so you could tie the legs together, right? And then you can still close Spark plugs. them. Right, but no, if you get a broom and then you tie one to each end, legs aren't closing. Wow, They're and then closing. you took advantage of those non-closed legs and you Absolutely. fucked her. Absolutely, you jam a sock in the mouth, dude. Shit. Ariel, oh if, if she God. wandered, if Nina wandered backstage, <laughs> would you would you give in to your desires and would you have her? Uh, uh, it depends if Joni was there or not. I mean, I, <laughs> I don't know. I, I just uh. I, I don't know. <laughs> Joni, Joni, coming back. Ariel expressed the desire to make things right. We want to too. We don't like how you left the show. We don't like that you felt uncomfortable. I actually wanted to say before the show started. What's that? No, I don't think he's going to do that. I don't think he's going to do that. I promise he won't. I don't think he's going to do that. And uh, Joni, if you want to take a seat, I actually was going to open the show by saying that that Joni looks very feminine and beautiful. Mm -hmm. I was going to say that. Good. I'm glad. I, we, and I didn't get a chance, it unfortunately. Or you want to put it on the record now? Go ahead. Joni, you look very feminine and beautiful today. Thank you. I agree. Um, well, Ariel, uh, your Ariel, Ariel, I, I, Ariel I how do you uh, feel about Joni? Well, I, I I just feel bad that, that she feels... Careful, offended. careful, careful. Sheesh, that is not sheesh. the right way to apologize. Or are you going to apologize? <laughs> I don't want to make you I, apologize I, if you don't I, want uh, to. Well, I mean, I'm getting to that, but I mean, mm -hmm. I suppose... Yeah, I want to apologize. I do want to apologize if that's worth anything anymore. I mean, I don't know. I feel like I, you know, I'm sincere. I didn't want to. I didn't mean to to offend. Really you did. did it three times in a row, and like Danny had corrected you like already on it. You've met me multiple times. Let like, the record show. I'm an ally. We we met first probably like at least two years ago. I've met you. Maybe you just don't have a memory for all these things. But we've met like probably at least seven times or something. But I in haven't that haven't, I, whole I, I, span. And we, I never I never insulted you. Those yeah, no, you've you've been nice to me all these other times and everything. Um, I don't know why you decided to take it upon yourself to do that and then go on these like rants and like I was literally asking you a question and then you went on these rants that had nothing to do about my question. Well, and uh, was, that was literally what I came to do was I just wanted to ask you a question about your song, about your lyrics. If if anyone asked me about any of my lyrics, like I could answer them. I know like where my head was at with them, and maybe that's not it. I will you. say, you Jody, just say that. I will say this though, Jody. I've tried to talk to Ariel about his music, and this guy is a fucking oyster as far as I mean, the amount and of secrets that's all he has to say is I don't want to. I don't want to like, say it. Like, like I don't want to talk about it. But I, he, instead, he goes and like says a million other things that have nothing to do with well, the question that, that I asked. Him. I, I've also gone to dinner with Ariel, and you sometimes. You know, he goes, he's got some theories. I, 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 just, I mean, I mean, I, I just want you to, to be feel... fair, to be fair. I mean, like, I mean, I, and I don't mean this to like to, to take it, but make it all about me. But like, but, but I didn't play those songs that you said. The ballad of, of like Bobby Brown the, is not a song. James that... Brown, whatever. I'm sorry. Bobby Jameson, I'm, right? Bobby Jameson. That I was know the he one. does hold that Bobby album Jameson in high esteem, was. don't you? It's that was Bobby. the one. I mean, I went home. I looked it up. I, I'm i like fairly certain you played it that day. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. But it was like some other. If it wasn't that one, then it was just like some other song with like Tranny where it sounded like those were the lyrics. And I was just like curious about it. I was curious like where you come from because I don't know much about you. You okay. Know? Okay. So well, just, so that's like, fair. Was wondering I'm what just, it was. I'm just saying. I'm saying like you, you, you started to get to the idea that I was, and, and that I was offended. That I was. I was, I was, say, I was I've being seen insulted. you be really nice to trans people too. Like people that I like, have nothing against trans. Yeah, people. I've, I've, I've witnessed personally because I've seen you at venues and stuff like handbag factory and things. And like, yeah, man, just, like you've always been really cool around people. So I was just like curious, and I, I wasn't even like caring about it. But you, you decided to intentionally call me a man three times in a row. Oh, I didn't intentionally that was, do that. I didn't mean. I didn't. Okay, I didn't well, mean it to. felt very intentional, and it, it felt like it was very rude. And I don't know. I, I mean, I, I, I can be i've been known to be rude uh, and, I, and i'm sorry about that and it's not don't take it personally it's it's really just uh, it, it's borderline uh, it's i'm just a creature of habit like i mean, I mean just it's hard for me to like sort of re it, it's not not I mean, it's not directed to you it's, so. it's it's like mild autism it's mild so yeah it's like uh, yeah asperger's or something like that. i don't know it's before the genius. It's the one that what about genius. joni would you accept you know three just, hours of free guitar lessons from Ariel as a means of apology no thank you I don't <laughs> no. I don't want that <laughs> would you accept my apology though 
Are you, are you like actually sorry? Like I am. Real, I, 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 I'm like, actually sorry. Jody, you he seems sincere. He, I'm seems actually, sincere. I'm he does sincere. seem sincere. I, I, I mean, I mean, why would I? I, I, I hope you're sorry. I hope. I, I am. I, honestly, I don't know if I can like truly believe you. Like I don't know because I don't know you very well as a person. Well, but I hope that that your apology is sincere. Yeah. Like, I, yeah, hope I, I, is. I hope. I hope that, that I hope you're like a good person. I would like, hope that you you would like that that stuff does hurt. Oh, like, dude, I and I obviously I I mean I think it's obvious, but I guess it isn't. I mean I mean. People know me better than than they. People think they know me better than they, than they actually do, and and I think that like uh, uh, they they do a lot of filling in the blanks about things that they don't understand about me, but uh, but I'm open to talk about it, and I I never I've never gone out of my way to make anybody uh, to hurt anybody. I mean I'm I'm just I'm I'm actually a very sensitive, Cancerian. You know it's my birthday today. Mm -hmm. I I actually have nothing against you whatsoever, and so so I. Would hope that that you would, you know. After Danny had said it the third time, you continued to say it one more time right after that. It was intentional. I'm sorry, but it, to act like it wasn't intentional that well, means then you your made your, then you've made then you've made your mind up your mind about it. Then, then, yeah, then I, I guess I have made up my mind. Okay, all right. So three times. Jody, three, three times. I, I will say I, it's hard to know without having watched the podcast back, but I do know Ariel fairly well. I think it's more an issue of him just being a guy who tends to speak as not, not even speak his mind that's the wrong way to put it because that makes it sound intentional speak what he's I, really thinking no, I, I guess. think he's, he's very Asperger-y no, I'm, I'm, I'm very I'm very I'm very I'm, 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 okay. Asperger I, I I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not very good at, 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 uh, at <laughs> he's at, very Asperger -y. I, I will say that his um his he's not is super polished socially yeah not refined he's a fucking rock star and but but Jody I totally understand why you're upset too I'm a That's retard too I mean, I mean, I'm he's just a, like a retard, retard. I'm he's a fucking re retard I'm a retard but so. I, I I do know Ariel pretty well and I do not think he was trying to hurt you I don't think that was his goal in any way and I think you guys were playing it up you guys were like like oh we no. yeah it, it, it was almost like just it was it was just podcast banter it was, it was locker room talk and bullshit I'm sorry about that Joni just it's, sorry Joni I'm serious just I, like I, when Trump said I, he was gonna move on that girl like a bitch right. with Billy Bush and that's that was one of the lines from that famous hot mic incident. Oh, he yeah. was like, I, she was buried. I I came at her like a bitch, <laughs> which is one of the most offensive things I've ever heard. But yeah, it's, it's Trump, pretty, so it's, it's funny. Gnarly. Yeah. But uh, Ariel, yeah, I, I look. Ariel, continue. I interrupted you with idiocy. No, no, no. I mean, I, I yeah, you've interrupted me with 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 Trump talks. It's okay. Uh, um, <laughs> what, about, what about a jam session right now on the pod? Dude? Is wow. that, would that be crazy? Would that be crazy? <laughs> That's that was that was that was that you Joey playing guitar plays. by the by the yeah, way. It was. Yeah. That is, that was really good. Wow. That, that that was beautiful. I actually was gonna go inside and just like say hello, but I didn't want to stop you. What song do the two of you? What artist do the two of you both respect enough to do a little duet right now? Somebody on guitar, somebody on vocals. Yeah, I don't. Really Julian like Casablancas. <laughs> Can we please do a <laughs> Julian's? Can we please do "River of Brake Lights" by Julian Casablancas acoustic? <laughs> One of your songs? No, it's one of his songs, and it's the most experimental, and it would sound horrendous on an acoustic guitar. <laughs> <laughs> what about? Uh, let's, can we do his fucking strokes sing along, please? Can somebody bring me a guitar? Can somebody fetch me an axe? Brooks. Brooks, you're supposed to be in the show, dude. I was trying to be. Okay, sorry. It's my fault. Jordan Schlansky. What is... The Strokes don't really have too many sing-along acoustic numbers, do they? No. Yeah, Leo. Do they, they not? Mm, what do they got? I don't know. I, it, oh, yeah. That's a great one. That's real easy on an acoustic guitar. <laughs> <laughs> Just do it with your mouth. All right. I know what we can do, dude. Can you play guitar? Danny can. Me, dude. What's one? Uh, I didn't know this was gonna be like a you know an electric, so that's gonna be even better. I mean, it's kind of like, yeah, it's a fucking it's, like a jazz it's a like, it's a non-binary guitar, if you will. <laughs> Can we? What's the one? It's like. Um, uh, what's someday? Why am I asking Leo? No, don't ask me, dude. I I think you hand the guitar over to Ariel. Can somebody else play? Can yeah, sure. I'll play. play it. I'll play. It. Yeah. I think his guitar's out of tune. I think yeah, it definitely is out of tune. Oh, it's it's a deal breaker out of tune. Ariel can tune it up, right, Ariel? Oh yeah. <laughs> I'll I'll, I'll, t I'll tune it and then I'll, I'll give it to you because I, I don't. Like, there we go. Well, Ariel, you owe her three hours of free guitar lessons, so. No, thank you. 
what if half of it was Donald Trump lectures <laughs> <laughs> and talks about the deep state? Yeah, he's like, what if Ariel was like, uh, you know, usually uh, the low E string is the lowest string in a guitar. It's the deepest note, but actually the, the deep state is even deeper than the low E. Got another good Oh, one. wow. There we go. Yeah. Joni, you want to be on vocals? I don't know. <laughs> I don't do covers. Let me see. Let's bring it up. What's this one called? What's it called, Danny? Someday. Someday, someday. I do covers by accident sometimes because I'm just jamming and I like play something. Just make up lyrics. Just make up lyrics. Make up without Fez. Yeah, make up lyrics without Fez. Danny, would you call Fez Asbergery? Yeah. Fez too? Yeah. Yeah. I do not condone Donald Trump. <laughs> that <laughs> man sucks. Hey, that's, we don't want to talk shit about Donald. It's been, we've been very positive today about Donald and Julian Casablanca. I just want to make my stance clear. <laughs> I don't think anybody. <laughs> Ariel Pink and Joni on the couch talking about trans stuff. <laughs> that's, that's about all you're going to get. <laughs> Joni, is this kind of one of those meet, don't meet your heroes type thing? I mean, I can't say that Ariel was like ever one of my heroes. I definitely listen to his music a bit and I mm -hmm. respect it. Like for mm -hmm. what it is, it's like pretty good stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. But also there's so many amazing talented musicians in this world that like I do align with and I respect their values and like who they are. So I would rather give my support to them and praise them. Mm -hmm. Well, you guys are you know? about to do a duet like right cool. now. And they're like cool. There are people that I've I've met and like have been nice people and not like tried to make people feel bad on purpose. Uh, well, uh, I I don't think it was on purpose. To be fair, Jody, I don't think it was on purpose as like a neutral observer. But again, I haven't watched the tape back. But that was my feeling about from, it. From from my standpoint, it, it felt like it was that way. And and especially just with meeting him so many times uh, pre previous to this, and we've had like. You know, just short conversations, just hello, goodbye sort of stuff. And like, yeah, small things, you know. So like, yeah, it's uh, maybe he just doesn't remember any of that. And that's fine. No, I mean, but I, just I, like, I, I do. I do it, remember it me. It felt like it was intentional because of all of that. But it's, we, but it we wasn't. Were like to, it, we, we were at this like small picnic thing together like a couple months ago, like where there were less than 10 people there. And like. I don't know. You've seen me. I'm always wearing dresses. I'm always like myself. I've but uh, but I but I like I said, I've never been in a situation where I've had to address you, where I've, where I've addressed your that issue. The pronouns. It, the pronouns. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, because because since we talk, he didn't know your pronouns. What, he's what I'm saying is that like yeah. Danny told you. No, but but I didn't know what, he was whether confused. they were. I, he, I was, they didn't thought, he thought we were fucking around. Jody, yeah, I, I, I have no it idea. Be, what Whatever. Be I mean, I'll let it go. It's 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 no, whatever. No, I mean, it's, I'm it, not gonna like sit here and hold well, on to it or anything. It's like well, it's, it's I mean, that that, ma that makes it that makes it, I I I doubt that you'll do that because because you've already made up your mind about me being an insulting asshole. So 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 yeah, if you if you can accept my apology, I suppose. You know, I hope that 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 that's good enough. If you can take my word for it, that like you know, I didn't mean to di mean you any harm, and that I didn't mean to misgender you, uh, then I hope that that's good enough. But I mean, if you want to like start to infer that I was doing it on purpose, uh, then that's uh, that's your choice. And I mean, I mean, if you're if that's a, if that's an excuse to to sort of make me feel bad, then like mean, you mission accomplished. Okay. So. Aw. So I mean, I'm not trying to make you feel bad. I'm just saying, I'm saying, you know that, like, I mean, I, I, I called you back to, 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 so that we can apologize and get over this stuff. It is a, a definitely a recurring theme in my life, uh, and I definitely don't want to make any enemies. He's done offending, you know. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, never was, a, never tried to offend. We all have that era. I think it's time for a duet. I think it's time to kind of fix things with art. Yeah. Art brings everyone together. I think I got uh, to the tune of uh, Someday here. Yeah, kind of like, you know, Joni Chris Brown, for example. Joni is a woman. For your information. Ooh, nice. And Ariel can be an insensitive ass. But he's a fucking rock star, too. And Leo is an uncircumcised wop. Here we go. 
his dick reeks of cheese. A lie. If he died tomorrow, it would be a relief. <laughs> so nice. That dirty Italian man. Clean. Clean Italian man. Oh, he's nice, though. Can we all, uh, we, we, did that make things better, Joni? Truly, I would accept your apology if you'd answer the question that I asked you in the first place. Like, literally, oh, my yeah. entire point try? of I, That's all I want. Let's that's try. All I Let's want. try. That's all I of course, of course. Let's try. You're talking about what were the lyrics? About? Okay, the lyrics for the one that I was asking you particularly was the Bobby James. Bobby Singh. The Bobby James. It was, he was uh, a Tinseltown tranny, tranny mayor of the Sunset, Sunset Strip. Strip. I just want to know where you were it, coming from. It was, like, where, like I, who who is he, like, to, to be that? Like, what are people, is that someone's opinion of him? Like, what is going on in that song? Well, I just want to know that. The song was written about um, about Kim Fowley, uh, the mayor of the Sunset Strip, which is a uh, Kim Fowley was a, uh, a, a a genius musician. I don't know if you've heard of if you heard him. You know Kim Fowley. I I've heard uh, you talk about him afterwards. I looked it up a little bit and I, I like I listened to some of the stuff and like well so no, no just not much just like very surface level. Well Kim Fowley is 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 somebody else, but D Bobby Jameson is is actually not Kim Fowley, but um but. They're related in some way, but 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 Kim Fowley is a he actually contributed some 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 songwriting on um uh, on Pom Pom, oh. so mm. so so and he and then he died and and uh, you know at the age of like eighty. Did you guys write plastic raincoats? Yeah, the he, pink, yes. In the pink parade. Yes, that, that that's that was a. You like I know who co-wrote that fucking song, Leo. That's amazing. So, Dirty wop. So yeah, so so uh, he's he's friends with Rodney and uh, Rodney Binghamheimer. It, it's not uh, the, the Tinseltown tranny. It, it's not really. Uh, he wasn't referred to as as a Tinseltown tranny, but he was like seven feet tall. Um, I don't know. Um, I don't know why I I, I picked that. So probably just because I had the song title, like you know, in uh, in, in, the, in my in my back pocket, so I just used it as a lyric. But I I had no uh, no uh, uh, real uh, designs or uh, it's kind of like you know just kind of like uh, you know like a sort of like the same kind of like like the way the Lou Reed. Uh, in the seventies, kind of like um, was dating uh, uh, this this uh, trans person. Let's take a walk on the wild side. Is about that. Yeah, I think so. And, and so, uh, so you know, there's just kind of like you know these are these are kind of you know I'm sure he called her a tramp at some point or something like that. And uh, 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 but but I think that there was there's there's sort of like there are some cliches that are outdated now that sort of don't really hit right the same, you know. So so I I, I can I can understand that there's there there could be room for uh for uh for disagreement or uh, uh you know but but it's basically uh, and I'm uh, not even telling you not to sing the song or anything like that. Uh, sing your songs, do whatever you want to do in your life. But I just was wondering like what it's it is the backstory. about it. There's no explanations, but thank you for answering. Yeah, 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 no, of course. That's all I really want to know. But like when you had done it the first time, you were like rambling off about all this other stuff. No, I yeah, know, like, there's that, just it's it's a, it's always it's yeah. Well, it's always it's there's always a story behind everything. Yeah, yeah. I, I yeah, I, I, it seems to me, Joni, it doesn't seem like your issue. It didn't seem like you had an issue with the that song really. It was just that the no, way Ariel referred to you. I yeah, know yeah. A little bit more you just wanted it, you had a question you know? and then it's, you we wasted like, your time. I, just, I hear I, I see someone that like I don't know very well saying that on stage and I wonder what what it, are they trying to come across. Would you like me to cover Tinseltown Tranny Acoustic <laughs> right now? <laughs> the, I, okay. I, I think I think the song that you were referring to that you, that I played live was Menopause Man. It's uh it's and, it could have been that big. honestly it was, it, maybe it was like it was so, a Tinseltown it, it was hard to tell. Tranny. There's a lot of like vocal effects going on on the one that I had heard so it's strip. Yeah, no, the, the the lyrics to to Menopause Man are. Does the lady are, have are, a um, pussy, um, or is it a fat it goes, dick? Mental woman, born of man. That's more offensive than anything. Born Ariel of woman, did the entire mental podcast. man. Dude, you sick bastard. Change me, I'm changing day to day. I don't think it resolved into the right chord. Uh, lady, no. I'm a lady from today. Oh. So uh, these are the lyrics to the song. Uh, so it goes, it goes, um, mental woman, born of man, born of woman, mental man. Change me, I'm changing day to day. Lady, I'm a lady from today. That sounds progressive, actually. Yeah, it was. It was and then, and then the, the chorus is, neuter me, spade my parts, so just come on, girl, Saturn star. And then uh, I go, make me, in, make, me, uh, make me maternal, fertile woman. M make me menstrual, mm. menopause man. Mm. Uh, rape me, castrate me, mm. make me gay. 
lady i'm a lady from today mm. so that's the so i could see what uh, i think that's the song that you No, must it was like i mean it was definitely like the word tranny was used in it that was the one thing i could really mm. make out but it was a lot of vocal effects going on i swear i like, i'm okay maybe that was the one thing i it, it really because like Sorry. i was into it before i was maybe like and it kind of is it is it, is it possible ariel do you sometimes just say tranny in the middle of a song only 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 in that song it's not a big deal it's sort of like i think it's like black comics using the n-word and it's just helps no, but, it's, but, it's, but it's also like it, it's only that one song and so and mm. we didn't play that song so I'm I'm really puzzled as to what it could there's also the song called I want to be a girl can we have a sing along and, and and that song is um uh uh actually so I, I think I think maybe maybe you're thinking of that song cuz I have the whole like section of of the the set I think that's dedicated to like you know to that subject okay so um uh um when I was born Something went wrong. They told me I was ugly. And it's all right. They told me I was lucky. I came this close to being a girl. But I want to be a girl. Don't want to be a boy. Put my, put my dress on. Dress how I want. Button down skirt. Get your crayon. I want to be a girl. Mm-hmm. A genderless son. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, sh- uh, Again, progressive. Do you guys like yeah. the Beatles? Let's do a Beatles sing along. There's more to me I than like what you see. You don't, like, you don't like the fucking Beatles? Is that blasphemy, no. Ariel? The Beatles? Yeah, she doesn't. She doesn't like the Beatles. I'm not a fan. I'm not like a huge fan. I know they got some good songs. That like, I got, Ticket to Ride. I've had my moment with that one. That was like pretty good. That's you're, those Beatles, right? Do you, it. Your guitar playing is so beautiful. It sounds like Peter Green or something. Do you like want to play the guitar? Well, I love like Joni like, play reading stuff. I'm um, in like Velvet Underground. I, I like Joni like play. That. I do a lot of like jamming. Oh, I got some fucking. Like, no, I'm not. Your, your guitar playing is like is if, is as beautiful as as um. What if we do? Did you know? Do you know Peter Green? He was the Fleetwood Mac. He was the, the yeah. I know guitar, who you're talking about the, the, the guitarist from Fleet. He he's your tone is soft, beautiful. It's like it's it's so so good, man. What if, what if, we, what if we have a sing along to uh, the Lou Reed, Pale Blue Eyes? Can we do that one, everybody? Sometimes I feel so happy. <laughs> Sometimes I feel so sad. Mic him up. Somebody mic him up. I got him here. Give me your mic, Ariel. Sometimes I feel so happy. Thank you. But mostly you just make me mad. Baby, you just make me mad. Come on, Joni. <laughs> I know you know the chorus. Linger on. Your pale blue eyes. Linger on You pale blue eyes Oh yeah, this is a tear jerker. Come on, Joni. Joni sat on the couch With a bone to pick But Ariel's an asshole who said that she had a dick? He said she had a dick. What's wrong with you, dude? One more time. Linger on your pale blue eyes. Danny, you're getting some buzzy from this song, dude. You should sing this at parties. Linger, that version I just sang. Yeah. You like that one? Oh, yeah. Your pale blue eyes. Wow, that was. I took some liberties with the, you know, the verse there to reflect our. Situ- yeah, a little. I think that deserves some applause. You know. You know. Singing your heart out there, well, dude. Well, now we have like an actual good memory together. Um, uh, uh, yeah. And I will actually be able to, um, to, to, to not do the same mistake. Again. Won't misgender you again, yeah. Joni. So I Did you want to play, Joni? I mean, he keeps talking about your guitar prowess. Why don't you play a little bit? Yeah, this, is, this is nice. This one's a nice, crispy, responsive acoustic. It's a trusty steed right there. Do, we should smoke some pot, though. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah do it. Yeah, you should. Some hanging around here. Here we go. Somebody mic that up. Ariel, why don't you mic Joni up as a gesture of good faith? Ooh, yeah. Mm, there we go. Joni. 
Georgia rhythm the guitar. The one person we can st- Ooh. Ooh. Zachadelic is here. Yeah. He's a sexual MacGyver. I was like, really high action. Wow. Really with a lot of Fred buzz most of the time. Yeah, that sounded great, though. A lot, of, a lot of wild chord inversions going on there. I didn't know what was going on. I couldn't have played anything close to that. Ariel Pink's going to get high. I think this is a uh, peace pipe, as it were. It's being smoked. Joni, you better smoke it, too. I will smoke I don't care if you're, you're clean out the weed. Joni, are you still in a relationship? Yes. Oh, nice. You still getting laid? Yeah, I do. Still getting laid. <laughs> we love him. We, we love him. Uh, what's his name again? Oh, we have Tyler. Tyler. Oh, I nailed Tyler. it. Yep. I know Joni's significant other. Joni, are you feeling better about everything now? Don't be stubborn, Joni. Come on. You know, I it's it's hard to tell with Ariel. It truly is. He's I don't know him idiot. very well. He I need to get no to know harm. him better. I hope, about, I, I hope no that he's sincere. What, I really do. And and I th- and I think that he might be, but am I on the edge and on the fence about it? I'm honest and yeah. I, I don't I don't exactly side. know. And I hope it is. You know, uh, Jody, has this guy ever I don't think this guy's ever apologized ever. I think that was I appreciate the apology. I do appreciate that. That was it. I think we gotta and give thank Ariel. Thank you for answering the question. I said I'd accept your apology if you if you answered the question, so yeah, right. I'm, I'm, I accept your apology. Tinseltown Tranny, the, myster- the mystery has been revealed. It's a start. Joni, do, yeah. what, Joni, I don't need make everybody a... to, to like me at the same time. It's right, fine. just a start. I don't like, you know, just, just one or two people. Yeah. What about, the, Joni, what about, does it help you get over the fence maybe that just me and Danny think you're looking real hot? You know what I mean? We we Sorry, mean that. Dude. Thanks, guys. No, no, I dude, think it, dude is, is, is genderless. Everyone knows that. And I think he might have just hit his T really hard on hot yeah, I did hit the T real hot. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, so you know, that's, whatever. Throwing it out there. Leo's throwing it out there. Mm-hmm. You two, uh, how are you, you guys feeling? feeling? They're they're getting they're getting high on marijuana, Leo. So how do you think they're feeling? Man, the devil's lettuce. <laughs> they're smoking the devil's lettuce. Everybody, get, everybody here is getting laid except for me. You mean yeah. what? You're not married anymore, Ariel? No, I'm married. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, okay. It's a marriage joke. It's a Bob Hope marriage joke. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, do. I don't think Bob Hope got that blue, actually. I don't think he was talking about fucking his wife or not <laughs> I think fucking he his wife. Was, dude. I don't think so. He was, his jokes were all like golf jokes. So, Ariel, you've been, uh, you're shacked up. You're living out uh, kind of deep. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking deep in the, the valley. In the yeah. valley. What, what? Is it, what does having a child do to you? Does it help make you a better man, per se? Oh, uh, I, I, I don't think so. <laughs> I, I think. Um, well, maybe I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Joey? I think I maybe maybe a better son. Okay, <laughs> that's a new take on that situation. Why you just called your parents more after that? Something like that. Yeah. yeah. Or you had them babysit more, so you were spending more time with your mother. <laughs> like, thanks, guys. <laughs> You're fucking saving my ass right now. Uh, 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 your, your parents live in Beverly Hills. You got that lyric, lyric I'm Ariel Pink. I'm a rock and roller from Beverly Hills, or something like that. Are you from Beverly Hills? You fucking rich son of a bitch. Well, I mean, is that a real question? Yeah, it is. You're, are you a rock I mean, and roller from Beverly Hills? I mean, uh, it's assumed that I am. Obviously, if I said it in my song, I mean, yeah. obviously, that's, that's, that's fact, right? I mean, come on. Your, Just, par- your parents are in L.A.? My, my mom's dead. Oh. Nice, um, Leo. Sorry. Yeah. Anyway, this, 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 uh, <laughs> this, this train of thought went a little bit too far. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, how does how is having a kid? It's, it's fun. It's so much fun, and, they're, and I'm, I already miss her. Oh. Do you? What's your masturbation regimen like these days? Uh, I would say, uh, I guess, uh, average. Okay. Average. Average for who? Average for uh, people thirteen and older, I think. Okay. okay, so that's twice a day. When I was thirteen, I was jerking off a fucking storm. I was jerking <laughs> off up a storm. I wasn't jerking off like a cold front. A, up a storm. Yeah, because I said I was jerking off a storm. Yeah, no, which is storm, which sure, is yeah. you know you can't do that. No. You can try. Yeah, I you think can. I think more than two times a day is 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 a little bit much. Yeah, personally. Does anybody here jerk off more than two times a day? 
Oh, white supremacist Skyler. Nina, do you masturbate twice a day? Oh. Dino and Austin definitely do. Okay, well, Joni and Ariel, that's, they jerk each other off twice a day. Is that what was said? That's very true. That's not jerking off, though. No. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's giving hand that's jobs. Just, that's just foreplay. Yeah, that's, it is foreplay in their case because event, still inevitably virgins. assholes are fucked. No, they, they <laughs> that, fuck that doesn't, count. That doesn't count. Too, that doesn't count. That doesn't count. It's not, not technically uh, uh, sex. <laughs> Who else wants to take the couch here? Do we, we've, we've had a uh, white, we got white supremacist Skylar here. Zachadelic's buddy. That'll surely inflame the Joni situation even more because, I mean, he's got white supremacist in his nickname. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 we're, get him on the couch. Yep. Get him well, there. I hope we didn't we didn't take too much time, and I'm sorry that I was rambling, but you know that's uh. That's the election's sometimes. coming up. It is it is important to speak one's mind. We made a lot of we made strides. Yes. For every multiple. A little bit of effort. A little we, bit of effort. We it, did. It's we didn't solve thank all you, the Joni. problems in the world. Thank you know you, what I'm saying? I, still, Joni, I love you. I hope. I thank hope you, Joni. Goes better, Joni. I hope it's it's. Mr. White, came back. Mr. Came White back. supremacist, what's your take on the trans issue? Um, was I fair? Was I fair? <laughs> uh, you. I, I can't say anything. I just uh, view people's lives as it's their life, their okay. choice. They what if do your what sister they want. was trans? No, that's very. Um, uh, my for... sister is like six, so I'd okay. be a little confused. Right. What What if I came to you and I was like, uh, white supremacist Skyler? Uh, hello, I'm, I'm Dr. Tylerson. You know, <laughs> Hi, Dr. I, I've, Tylerson. I've had an interview with your daughter, and she seems confused. And my I'm here to break the. Did I say daughter? Yeah. Yeah. Your sister. I'm here to. Excuse me. I, it's been a 16 hour shift. I'm here to break the news to you that. Your little sister has a man trapped inside her body, and I insist we do top surgery and amputate her tits. Yeah, and uh, and get her on puberty blockers as well immediately. She's six, but that's perfect. And by, <laughs> and by the way, her name is Daria. We yeah. we, we feel man excuse inside? me excuse me. I'm a doctor here. Yeah. We feel we cannot start the puberty blockers soon enough. So she's yeah. already taken her first dose. She's already taken her she's first dose. Already she's, she's, she's already bleeding. By injection. She's already started bleeding, and, you, and we need to nip it in the bud immediately. We, we wow. prematurely <laughs> induced a period just so we could give her puberty blockers. It's, it's never worked before, but somehow it worked this time. Yeah, I'm an experimental doctor myself, Dr. Tylerson. And again, it's a 16-hour shift. I might say some wonky stuff, but She was going to have like a very, very late... Uh, 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 Period. Like yes. you know, she, she was gonna have like she was. It was like, threatening her life. I mean, if you have like periods when you're 20 years older and or beyond, I think it's kind of. A, it's not good. It's not good. It's yeah. Not good. Yeah. Women should stop having periods. Probably at around age 16. Well, they shouldn't start. They should never have started. They should, they should never. If we start. can stop it. If we can stop the phenomenon of yeah. periods and menstrual cycles. And if we can like help men, you know, not you know, have babies, that would be great too. I mean, Absolutely. that that would solve that issue. We're actually. working yes. on it. Myself and my partner. We are. Dr. Wapakis yeah. are working on it. Mm -hmm. Listen, you White Supremacist and... Skyler, are you, are you Dr. Wapakis, are you comfortable with that name? I love that. Yeah, that's actually... That's pretty <laughs> so, good name. White Supremacist Skyler, is it tough to get employment this with a name like that? This part's not going to go over well. No. Because uh, there's no, too many white, to white men, like bar, except for you. And then I, immediately they want to hire me. Yeah, yeah, flip the mic around. Into the screen. And yeah. let's get... Fez, you want to get over here? We need uh, an LGBT uh, person yeah. of color on the couch. Yeah, get over here. Get over here, Fez. Yeah, Fez, get over here. Come on. Fez, get over here. Obese gay man, we need you. <laughs> no, no, Fez, you're not gay. We need, we need a snowflake from the audience. We need a we snowflake, don't. Fez. You're definitely a liberal. We have to have a control for our science experiment. There we go. So I'm going to hold my next thought until Fez sits crusty. down. It's my birthday, by the way, guys. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday. Wait, once, once again. Wait, one second. Birthday. One second. I don't want any more conversation until our person of color is seated. <laughs> <All right>. Perfect. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So Was I being rude again? Sorry. I need a little pause just to make sure that... White supremacist Skyler, how do you propose we deal with the Jewish problem? Uh, invade Poland. Hmm, I'm joking. And Ariel Pink is a, 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 a person of the Jewish faith. So He's a person of Jew. So we can say it. Yeah. I'm French. I just surrendered. Are you... Okay. World War II humor. I can't hate on it. I was doing... Like, <laughs> your nose looks sunburned. Your nose uh, looks very, very sunburned. Very, It looks uh, kind of like a tomato that was left in the sun. You know, a guy named White Supremacist Skyler should have a nose sunburn at all times. Yeah. It really goes with your character. I just like, wow, well, I, I lost track of the time. I was out chopping logs and my nose is looking rosy. There's like a... When you're born in the South, there's kind of like a, a setting to where you can... Make your southern accent a little bit harder and stronger, but you can also How bring back on How far down south? How far? You from? Down south. Danny was doing one so hard one time that that guy was just like, "How far down south you from?" <laughs> we were in Virginia, by it the way. It was unbelievable. So, white supremacist Skyler, 
Have you ever listened to Ariel Pink? Oh, uh, I have not. Uh, you should. I think you'd like him. I think Ariel Pink might be the new soundtrack of the clan. There's a good song, Tinsel Town Tranny. Yeah. That's a good one. It's good. There's two of them. Mm-hmm. Two versions of that. Ariel Pink, which of your records is the best to put on at a cross burning? Uh, it depends on if you want to stop it. Mm-hmm. Or or if you want to keep it going. Right. If you want to stoke it. Let's say keep it if going. If you want to stoke it, you have to listen to Mac DeMarco and stuff like that. I mean, okay. Uh, uh, you know, um, if you... <laughs> If you want to, if you want to just sort of like chill out and like get stoned yeah. and start like, you know, just flying into your imagination, yeah, then Ariel Pink is the way to go. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Now we're talking artists. But, uh, but, uh, yeah. Uh, what record? I don't know how I don't have records. Yeah. Man. Ariel Pink. That's the thing. It's like, I don't have records. What's a jo- record? Jody was getting upset because Ariel wouldn't answer deep musical questions. I, asked, I don't, I don't like all the attention on anybody else. I asked Ariel Pink what his favorite <laughs> record he's made was once and he looked at me like I was a fucking asshole. <laughs> yeah. And he just I, like, he wouldn't even entertain the question. One of them might, one of my songs might sue me. Mm. You never know. See? I have to keep them all in good standing He's with being me. deliberately obtuse whenever you ask him about his music. What's your favorite song? I'm not going to pick a favorite song. I, I don't get it because whenever people ask me about my baseball career... It's like the I'm, worst part of myself. Like, I mean, yeah, which, 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 part of my, which what part of me do I like the most? Mm-hmm. The one that like everybody else likes. I had a hating streak in Valley Call, the 2007, 28 games. So I always love talking about that. That's, that's, that's a very 28 of you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, but uh, but yeah, it's cool. It's like you know, you sort of have to ride the wave of 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 c- c- cynicism and mm-hmm. and and skepticism through life. That is my sermon for the night. Mm-hmm. White supremacist Skyler. White supremacist Skyler. Is that? <laughs> his, it, did you name him that? Or I did. did. He, he did name me that. I did. Yeah. He did. Do you have any? Do you have any that's 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 a f- that is some that is some. That is incendiary. <laughs> it was the it first is. thing well, he said to me. I, I, I would say, what is this Jewish shit? What the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> I so don't. Do, do you have a black friend? I have plenty. Okay. He's actually any uh, proof? There was any proof? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's pull it up. Any proof? He's gonna have to have a picture with a black friend. Yeah, Nina. Have you seen? Well, Nina can come over here too. I feel like everybody's gonna be happy when Nina gets on screen. The yeah. retention will increase. Nina has white supremacy. Come on over here, Nina. Has white? You can sit on Fez's lap because he's harmless. <laughs> Has white supremacist Skyler Nina ever made a pass at you when he was blacked out? Oh no. No, he doesn't drink. Oh wow. I don't think he's a real white supremacist. No, he doesn't do any sober. Is he one of the interns? No. <laughs> Definitely does not. So Nina, he's he's never given you a. How old are you, man? No, uh, I'm twenty. Okay. So, Nina, white supremacist Skyler has never. Like giving you a lewd look, and he's never said something like, "Man, I don't know why you're with that Zach." Definitely not. Him and Zach are really, really close. Nah, Zach's the homie. I'd wipe his ass if he wanted me to. That's really. <laughs> that's okay. Would you wipe a black man's ass though? Yeah, it is. Bro, no, that's clean, southern hospitality. Southern, southern ho- hospitality. Yeah, southern hospitality. <laughs> I would wipe your ass. Would you wipe, wipe mine? Man, like that's that's a fucking. It's like scratch yeah. your back. That's really back. that's really hardcore. That's some love, I like dude. That. That's, that's real love. love. Yeah. yeah, seriously. Now it's bro white, code. White supremacist yeah. Skyler, you seem like a very nice guy, but you are gonna have to prove to the audience now that you have a black friend. So okay. I'd like and that you're not gay. And that you're not gay. You could or I, trans. FaceTime, FaceTime or a black trans. guy. Yeah, FaceTime a black guy. That you know. And we're gonna come up with trials for those. Yeah, if you can FaceTime a black guy, and then also Ariel will FaceTime Julian Casablancas at the same time. <laughs> And we can make the black man talk to Julian. Can we, can oh. we, can we, can we do it? <laughs> you should, can you, no. you call yeah. your lawyer dad? Your yeah, call your lawyer dad. Call your lawyer dad. I want to have like a, a, a jam session with one of those uh, speakers, you know, and like and just and start recording it and the feedback. You yes. Know. Uh, oh, that's Ariel Pig Speed right there. Yeah, that's from. You would have to sample that. If a black guy, Julian Casablanca, I just need three of me. Just we're th- talking. So I do have my friend on the phone. Uh, oh, they give it to me. I I don't have any black friends. Here, give it to me. Oh, my All right. Lord. I'm sorry. <laughs> What's up, big dog? Uh, where Where are you from, man? Yes. Where am I from? Yeah, how, where, how where you, you from? Yeah, where are you from? How you handle this? How you How you handle this is essential. Where are you from? I'm from Tennessee. All right, from Tennessee. All right. Would you say that you're a black man because you look You look almost like a Pakistani to me. <laughs> I would. Are you black? Maybe. No, no, no. You got see. This is the <laughs> can I, worst. Can I see him? Can this I see guy's him? not even black, dude. Let me look. Hey, show your face. What? What? Oh, bro. Is, that's not a black man. <laughs> you told bro, you could be Spanish. He could be Portuguese. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Wait, is he black? No. All right. <laughs> s- say the N-word right now. 
You should have the pass. Uh, nigga. Okay. Would you say you're half black, right? Is like, is your mom or dad? Why am I answering these questions? Why? Okay, I'll tell you. I'll tell you why. Uh, your your friend Skylar just came out on our white pod- supremacist. Yeah, you know your, your friend Skylar just came out on our podcast as a as a white supremacist. He came out as a white supremacist on this podcast. That's how he, that's he, that's how he responds. So so then he was like, but I still got black friends, and we're like, that doesn't make sense if you're a white supremacist and you burden crosses and shit. So we're just confused. Two man. Mac DeMarco records. We're really confused. Oh, no. Is Skylar a white supremacist? <laughs> His name's I'm sorry, even, dude. His name's not even. I didn't know. I didn't know they were gonna do this. <laughs> you, so I, dude, white supremacist Skyler. Uh, that's your boy's name now, and uh, we just don't get it. We don't get it, man. Well, I mean, no. maybe he's just confused, you know, in the point of the reality of the mix of it. Yeah, I mean? dude. So, uh, I mean, he's a real friend, you know, man. I mean, so like. Yeah, man, I it's mean, it's crazy that he said, you don't even want to know what he said, dude. He said something about the he- heel bone. He said you guys. I said I wanted to invade Poland. Anyway, look, dude. Like either way, I would just watch your back. If I was if I was you, dude, <laughs> he's looking maybe to get you. You know what I mean? I don't yeah. even know. Yeah. Well, Talk to my buddy uh, Danny. He has more information. So. <laughs> yeah. So. Oh my God. Listen, dude. This guy first showed up. He had. Uh, he said, "You mind if I sit down my change of clothes?" <laughs> And we're like, what, change your clothes? What, did you, did you did you piss the bed last night? Why do you got yeah, all these yeah. sheets? Yeah. And he's like, these ain't sheets. This is my uniform. <laughs> I got a function. And we're like, oh. And we're like, wait, wait, wait. You got a function later tonight during what you're going to wear these? Mm-hmm. And he's like, you got a hearing problem, cracker? <laughs> he, he asked me if I had a hearing problem, then called me a cracker. And so, you know, we're just checking. You got to check with white supremacist Skylar these days. You yeah. got you to gotta always check with white supremacist S. Hey, so Ariel Pink's here. You listen to any Ariel Pink over there in Tennessee? No, nah, man. No, no Ariel Pink, man. <laughs> <laughs> I like you, man. You're the man. This is a very jarring. I'm sorry. This is a very jarring phone call. I apologize. Call. I I, yeah. Can I just say I don't endorse the show whatsoever, yeah, and I've fine, never yeah. donated and Ariel, any money. And, and, and Ariel also would like to apologize to you personally yes. for some recent comments at the Mayan Theater. <laughs> and uh, no, you're awesome, dude. You've been you've been great. We're on a podcast. White supremacist Skyler said nothing of the sort. And uh, you know you should throw on. Uh, is it four Bobby Jameson? Is that the record? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, four. What number four? It's number four. The fourth record. That your fourth record. Uh, what, what? Don't answer it. What record of yours are black people the most inclined to like? They like all of my stuff because it's vanilla. It is no, it's no, it's I I think all of it probably. Huh? Yeah, you should. Uh, He's got some. Soul I'm sorry, man. What was your name? My name is Breezy. Breezy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I get any doubt we had about you know. <laughs> Brazy, <laughs> I want you to clear the next couple of days, and I want you to absorb <laughs> all of Ariel Pink's discog, because black people love it. Okay, cool. Brazy, yeah, you're the man, dude. We gotta hang out next yes, time sir. I'm in Tennessee, dude. Yes, sir. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. You're the man, Brazy, and I'll make sure that white supremacist Skyler doesn't go to his rally <laughs> <laughs> or my concerts. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm coming to the concert. And I'll also make sure that white supremacist Skyler does not attend an Ariel Pink show. I'm going to bring the rally to the concert. I'm going right. to... We're going to be signing this. Later, Brazy. I got forms. Dude, Brazy... His name's Tristan. <laughs> I like how when he answered, just the blackest voice ever. Yeah. Like, no, who it is? Ariel Pink, man. Yeah. Yeah, no, crazy. yeah, it's so black. Oh, my God. That was, that was a... Into the machine. mic, Ariel. Into the mic, Ariel, if you don't mind. Oh, no. Yeah, you just don't even want to. You're over it. That was that was that was a sashimi takedown. I swear to God, I don't know what you guys just did, did mm-hmm. right there. That mm-hmm. was amazing. That was good. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that's what uh, we do on the Leo and Danny show. The podcast got hot right when white supremacist Skyler sat down. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's we crazy. appreciate that. It, that's what a white supremacist do. I think <laughs> wherever wherever they go, yeah, we set stuff on fire. They're good. Hey, yeah. Fez, do you mind? I just how are people, or how are people invited on the show? By the way, it's very it's, loose. It's weird, and yeah. there's very little in the way of security. Right now, right now I have an associate how, do you mind? producer. I just want to bring Zach Adelic onto the couch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want him to be with his people here, and I, not, <laughs> not in a racial sense. Yeah, recently uh, Brooks has been. Hel- he's an associate producer. I, I needed a Jew, so it's good. He's been helping me out. Okay, so Brooks has Who's... been helping to book, and mm-hmm. he did a great job today. Oh, he did. Did a great job today. I mean, that was amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, white supremacist Skyler was getting a little too close to where Zach Adelic, so I'm glad that. 
I was wondering. It, it, she's she's not a she's got impure blood though. She's <laughs> Asian. Gonna, I wanted I do want to bring something up that happened at my comedy show that involves Tahita, if that's okay. I would I love was, to hear about. Uh, it. Yeah, we're hanging out. And after the show, Buck. Uh, we got to call him Buck, right? Yeah, good old yeah. Buck, dude. We're hanging out after the show. He hasn't said a word. He's meeting Sack. He's meeting Nina. He's meeting white supremacist Skyler. <laughs> and uh, out of nowhere, out of nowhere, to, he's just like, you two dating? <laughs> he just asks Nina and Zagadel, like, out of nowhere. First thing he said the whole day, he's like, you two dating? <laughs> Well, he was going to make his move. That was the first thing I heard from him. It was out of control. Well, <laughs> you know, I like this move because a lesser man would have wasted an hour courting Nina. Yeah. Only to watch Zach saunter up and kiss her on the lips. It's true. <laughs> so, Tahita, I mean, he's a Native American. He's got things to do. He's got things to do. He's got to pray to an eagle. He's got to make a canoe. Mm -hmm. He saved time by asking. Yeah, he just got straight to the point. There he is, dude. <laughs> There's Buck over there. We got him. Wow, this has been. This has you should, been. Can you come on here so we can make sure that's. Yeah, Tahita should come on here. Uh, I, might, I might as well. Uh, Tahita, come that on. That couch is going to be as full as a longhouse once Tahita gets over. <laughs> and if you're ever in LA, every Thursday, me, Tahita is now part of the show. He is a DJ at my comedy show on Thursdays. Outside Damn, venue, dude. bring your own smoke, bring your own beer. Tahita so also made me a little clip for a video this week. I posted it to Shorts, dude. He's oh, quite. Do you like it? Yeah, it's tough, dude. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Fuck yeah, yeah, he's good. He's a yeah. good editor. So. This is great. We got a bunch of young, young uh, whippersnappers. We got a native. We got a guy who hates people of color. We got mm -hmm. our, and then we have white supremacist Skyler. Uh, uh, yeah. No, again, he he just hates he just hates black people. I hate everyone. Everyone, everyone, hate everyone. So it is a natural evolution. Yeah. Well, like the the, the, the go ahead. The evolutionary chart. Yeah. 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 Uh, sorry, I don't know. White. Oh wait, like straight white. Wait, okay, no, Tahita, this is not Stop the time it. to what? court. Oh, now it's the time to court, huh? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Tahita, <laughs> it's natural to want a piece of Nina, but I will not stand for it, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that wasn't what I was trying to do, I swear. <laughs> we never trust you, Redskins. <laughs> we can't. Like, dude, I noticed all of us are, all of, everybody's white except me and her. Is so. Oklahoma full? Why are you here? That one got silenced. That was mean. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know the history jokes. Even though I'm really white, I do have a little Native American in me. Did, were you offended by that, white Ooh, supremacist Skyler? He's breaking some taboos, man. Oh, yeah, he is. When I said, is Oklahoma full or something, why are you in California? Did that offend you, white supremacist Skyler? Because that's where we sent the natives. Just say you're a tourist. Can you repeat that? Nothing. It's okay. <laughs> it got crickets the first time. Why? It was... It uh, it required the prior knowledge that we put all natives in Oklahoma and said like, "Hey, go here because all it is is fucking fields," and uh, and then like we just hoped they would stay there because we wanted their oil and we didn't want them, you know, just generally being heathens around our Christendom. Yeah, I feel like uh, they were like, "Yo, we're gonna move the Indians all the way to Oklahoma," uh -huh. and then. During the middle of the night when they were sleeping. Are you know? playing up your accent right now? I can't tell. No, I'm not. Okay. No. And uh, <laughs> in the middle of the night, he was like, you know I didn't what? know if he was doing the white supremacist Skylar. You sound like you're doing the white supremacist I mean, Skylar. I'm paying if you really want me to. <laughs> get real down south. You want me to get real down south. Get bro. real That's down south. That's what you really want. That's, That's what, what we you want. want. Uh, <laughs> might sound like a cod lobby up in here. <laughs> but uh, no, nah, I think they were talking about they moved the Indians to the Oklahoma. And then in the middle of the night, they was like, you know what? Fuck that! I want all the land. Move them all yeah. the way over there now. Yeah. And then yeah. they said, "Fuck that! We want the we want the West too." Yeah. Yeah. They probably found something in Oklahoma. Though I'm I'm not sure what they found there, but there was probably something of value. They're like, "Ah, fuck! We've got to send them to the Badlands of Dakota now." Mm. Yeah, Oklahoma. I've been there. It's uh, it stinks. There's not much. There's good barbecue, but there's also tornadoes, and it's 30 degrees below zero in the winter in some places. It's really cold. <coughs> Oklahoma is the bomb. Is it? Or are you just trying to save me because my little rant went nowhere? What, what do you do in Oklahoma? I appreciate that, by the way. Oklahoma City bombing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was the best thing to you happen. You know that guy was at Waco? The guy that did it? Timothy McVeigh? Yeah. Timothy yeah. McVeigh. You a fan? Yeah. Ariel, <laughs> Ariel, you know the name of the Oklahoma City bomber? That's a deep cut. That's like one summer night. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I... I, I I've been around. Mm. That was a deadly bombing. That killed like 30 people, didn't it? Very effective. We should look that up, Austin. Look that up. How many did he kill? I don't think it was 30. It was a lot of people. Was like I nine. looked at it and it I was... like It was like like 
100 babies or something like that. Oh my god, really? It was like a daycare. It was the daycare, yeah. And they uh he was he worked next door. That was his day job and just the sound of twinkle twinkle little star being played in the, in the daycare was maddening. Oh, that was it. Huh? And so he and the, w- like it had there was like more damage than expected or would have been thought possible. Here we go. We don't need the encyclopedia. This is what ChatGPT is for. <laughs> Damn. 168? Deaths or casualties? Death. Death. Oh, my God. And he injured was... 850. What a fuck, dude. Damn. I didn't know it was... It's a busy that. building. He got the death penalty, right? Yeah, I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah, he it's did. A, it's Oklahoma. He might be He might be Yo. life in prison. I'm not, not sure if he got death penalty. Fucking white supremacist Skyler's dad was the judge. <laughs> that is a... Crazy thing to do, man. What did you do with a van? Was it a van? Yeah, it was a van. I watched the documentary. Yeah, it's funny. Thanks, I guess uh, he commits his crimes with the van. You commit your crimes with the van, Leo. Oh, perfect. Mm. Birds of a feather. Yeah, well, flock together. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Get it? Because you're an abductor. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I love picking up girls in vans. Dude. If you were going to abduct people, like, you got to find another windowless vehicle because the van is just everybody's on the lookout for a van. Yeah. I mean, it is. I mean, what else are you going to do? You I can't really like a, hate on the guys with the vans. Nah, I think, like, a, a, the best vehicle right now to do, I probably like a Model Y. Hmm? A Tesla? But they're so gl- glassy. They got well, glass you, you everywhere. Get blacked out. You can get them blacked out. You get them all the tint, the windows tinted. The back, there's not much You're room not in the back. You're not getting pulled over. What about an Escalade? Then you could really get that thing, and they're just going to think you're driving people from the airport. You get it blacked out, and you can drop the second row seats. A cop might be watching a lot of like movies, like Taken, and you know the, all the Albanians have Escalades. They're always like in big blacked out kind of SUVs. So it's kind of like that's it's mm-hmm. you know, I'm telling you the Model Y would be the best. All right, I don't believe you, but okay, mm-hmm. it would be the best. So uh, back to the uh, story. Y'all said my, my little sister has a man inside of her? Well, yeah, yes, she's it's trans. N- yes, my son. We are going to have to, and again, induce artificial yeah. puberty, and, and then we're going to have to block that puberty. And Leo's her doctor. Yes. I don't and, trust uh, that. And she wants to go by Dustin from she's now on. She's going to be the youngest recorded pregnancy of all time if Leo is her doctor. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> The youngest recorded pregnancy It's got to be like time. 10, dude. It's I think like, she it's, might be too like old six. for Leo, though. Six? It's something fucked up. I forgot where. I read that in Sperm Wars. It's something really fucked up. That is evil. What do you think about uh, Robin Baker and Sperm Wars, Ariel Pink? Never heard of it. Ariel Pink, uh, when you were in your pussy heyday, <laughs> what did you have any moves that you would like to transmit to the younger generation? Because you got a slew of them sitting on the couch next to you here. Um, oh, looking for your guidance. All those children over there. Yeah, they want to know how to get pussy, Ariel. Um, just wait. <laughs> it's the best way. Wait what for what? Mean, just wait. wait for the pussy to come to you, obviously. It's, it's good advice. So, white supremacist Skylar, you got to become a rock star. Okay. And then pussy will come to you. What no, 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 no. You don't have to become a rock star. You just have to, like, make it to, like, 35 or 40. <laughs> what if I just do Or, like, or f- f- even more. In that, f- no, stop talking off mic. That's annoying. Mm-hmm. S- 70, you're starting to get into the territory where it's, like, you... Seventy-year-olds get all the play. Sorry, I snapped to you. Sorry, it was just annoying. I was trying to hear him. Somebody kept talking. Uh, Ariel, repeat that. So when you're 35 to 70, you just wait and pussy just shows up. Yeah, absolutely. You have more resources, money. Well, know. there's like, you know, there's there's people that are of age, but like also adults. That are desperate. I that are, that, 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 yeah, they, well, they, they're not desperate, but they're trying to they're set themselves up, you know. For the future. Okay. Ariel... So you got to get rich, white supremacist guy. Like no, no, no. You have to just actually. You just. I, have to, I would say, play an instrument, learn an instrument, join a band. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, don't write the songs. Okay. Then um. It works for Julian. J- but just just go on the tour, on the road. Find a find a band that like, I mean like two years on bass is all you need. Uh-huh. Two years on any instrument, just like, and then get a, your job at a band, and then tour the world, get your dick sucked. Uh-huh. It's a great way to meet people. Yeah, nice. You know, yeah. they come to you. You don't have to even flirt with them. Get your dick sucked before you meet them. They really just they, they come to you because <laughs> they want that. I feel like I might be a little more effective if I just go to downtown LA, open a lemonade stand, just give out. Well, there's no hurry. What I'm bits. saying is that like it's it'll it'll wait, it'll wait. happen. White supremacist Skylar. It's don't do go- bits when R. L. Pink's. This is like a, this is a yeah. this okay. is just a that was fucking bullshit. He was giving you the Ariel, keys to the fucking kingdom, kid. Ariel, he was giving you the key. He you were giving him the keys to the kingdom. Yeah. And white supremacist Skylar was doing bits. That is bullshit. Well, I mean, it's it doesn't matter. It's 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 all biology anyway. Fucking Gen Z doesn't listen, dude. You don't yeah. listen to your elders. You don't listen to your superiors. 
Mm-hmm. Zach Adelic, you were listening to what Ariel Pink had to say, right? Dude, I was spot on, man. White Scrubs is Skylar. Uh, Skylar, you shouldn't even make <laughs> fucking eye contact with him, dude. Don't even fucking, don't even make eye contact with the guy. Yeah, nobody makes eye contact with me. Look down. Well, we're coming. We've almost, are we almost at two hours, Austin? We're over two hours. Great. So nice. we're coming to an end here. Nice. It's an amazing pod today. It, it was crap. great. It was a true. Fun, guys. It was a true roller coaster. Trans people. No, it wasn't literal. Trans but, people, you know? gay people, fucking yeah. Nina, <laughs> Zachadelic, <laughs> a white supremacist. Yep. It's a black guy. Who a black guy. He was allegedly friends with. Yeah, maybe I don't know if that guy's even black. We don't but, know. He might have just been Filipino. Doing, he might have been doing black voice black. as a Filipino. <laughs> Breezy. Breezy. Yeah. White supremacist Skyler. I think you've been inhaling too many fumes from the cross burnings. You got to talk. This guy's got a lot of guts, dude. This guy's fucking call his friend like that. Yeah. You like that, Ariel? I thought that was funny. Did you? That like, was really funny. You like white supremacist Skyler? I think I, I think I like him. Yeah, I like him too. <laughs> I don't have anything against him so I far. I think it's a good thing. He hasn't offended me. That's good. Yeah, yeah, that was cool that he called. I am actually very impressed that you had a black guy that was willing to pick up a FaceTime. That's what I'm like saying. That. Yeah, that's yeah, what. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. This. That's why I'm saying. If that was a bit. Congratulations, guys! It was great. That was a good bit. If that was a uh, prank on me, congratulations, guys! That was no, fucking was great, no beautiful. Prank. No prank. Yeah, no, no, no problem. No, no, no pun intended. Yeah, the only bit on you, Ariel, is I think you were. I, I think I'm the Brooks know he was going to set off a powder keg with that Joni incident. Yeah. Oh, I mean, that's not anybody else's fault, I guess. He, but he mine. advised her to wear pants too, which is bullshit because the the dress would have been, you know, it would have been. Did you do he, that, Brooks? Yeah. Not if you did that. <laughs> he did, dude. Yeah, dude. He, he did. Brooks encouraged her to dress more masculine. <laughs> <laughs> she mas- oh she my was, god. She, she looked at, yeah, she was she was Shut looking up. like a lumberjack, like you know, not a lumberjack, but you know, like a masculine a little bit. I thought Joni looked very feminine. I need to stop saying that. God I thought Joni looked, looked gorgeous. Joni looked I did. It was she looked hot. Well, prove she looked, it she, she on the hot. street. Stop. She's in like your challenger. Stop it. Prove it on the street in your dude. challenger, right, Zachy? Yeah. I will, dude. I will. The the dyke look is like totally like that's coming back. It it is. It's hot. It's actually what I'm going for right now. So <laughs> the dyke look. Like, like like tomboy kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. All right, you're looking good. How old are you now? Uh, like uh, 65. Aria looks good. Yeah, Aria, I'm you're in a good place right now, Just man. Skin routine. Are you actually skin routine. I actually, I don't know. I don't do anything. I don't, I I think the whole health health uh, industry is a scam. So I just uh-huh. don't. Uh-huh. I don't. I believe uh, natural oils. Nice. And uh, Dr. Bronner's looks like. Nice. Zachadelic, what's your favorite video of all time since you're such a big fan? Oh, dude. That's a tough one. I hate that question. Mm. Maybe Ass Office. That's a good one. Oh, Ass Office. Yeah. Absolute Adventure. Hey, fucking. Absolute Adventure. Yeah, I'm in the backseat that whole video. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, Ass Office, one. man. That is a, a nice one. Well, Zachadelic, love you, buddy. We, gotta, we will be out in Tennessee soon. I know it. I know and it. when I'm off. Probation. We're going back. As we're going huh? back, and we're gonna throw a show. We're gonna yeah. throw a party, yep. and it's gonna be fucking wild. Sick. Dude. I'm there, dude. Gotta do a video on that. We gotta do video on that strip club. Tyler, Skyler. We gotta do that that strip club video. Remember that weird strip club that we found over there? Yeah. Uh, white supremacist. Do you have something to say? Um, we, gotta, we gotta make this a holiday. Every every birthday we do this. Yeah, I like that. I I, I think that then then we'll. You're booked. We're every, booked. Every Everybody, birthday, we're all booked. And then at December, Brooks has. December 14th mm-hmm. should be free Danny Mullen slash Julian Assange day because that's when I'm going to be off probation. Perfect. Ariel. Throw a party for both of you guys. Yeah, I'll be great. Yeah, yeah. And why, can't Ar- you, why, can't your, why can't your dad get you off? Well, know. the funny thing is my dad, there are rumors that my dad <laughs> tried to call the DA to throw his weight around mm-hmm. and the DA fucking really got pissed off that my dad tried to pull that move. Yeah. So it might have actually made it worse for me. And that might have been why the DA like rejected. One That's of why our they think artists. you're a Trump supporter. That's why they think that you're a Trump supporter. Who's they? The, you know. The powers that be. The powers right? that be exactly. The powers that be. The yeah. Ones the the, the, the important ones. Well, I mean, the guy who threw me in jail, the DA. I'm sure he was a Trump supporter too. So it's not like I got locked up in Oregon. No, no, no. But there's, well, we he definitely, know. he definitely didn't. He lost his job if, if whatever. I mean, I mean, so, I don't know. Where was it? When did that happen? Where did that happen? That happened in Tennessee, Eastern Tennessee. That's not yeah, even America. That's not even the U.S. It doesn't even matter. It's yeah. not America. It's yeah. true. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm a fugitive. I think it's the big takeaway here. Or, just, uh, you just never have to go there ever again. That's fine, dude. Well, you, you, they, let, they, let, they, let you, they let you go. Yeah. They did. You're, you're done. You don't even have to show up for a court or anything. Fuck it, dude. He's good. You wanted yeah. in 50 states. You know, I could flee too. I'm not sure where they wouldn't extradite me. 
Maybe R- extraditing is a thing of the past, man. They can't do. They let they let Julian Assange free today. Uh, like Brazil and Russia, I'd go to Brazil. Russia, I don't think. I Brazil. don't think Russia's going to let you in right now. No, Russia will fucking will take you with like open arms. I think I heard that they're actually starting. Putin's like starting his own colony in Russia. Like, a, like like maybe it's a, maybe he's going to take part of Ukraine. I'd live in I'd live in but, Putin's gated community. But no, but he's going to make like a a community of um of basically of uh, of r- American refugees. Oh, wow. For for people that basically like you know felt like political prisoners in our um, republic here. Well, I hope that defectors everybody, basically. I hope everybody in this room. Yeah, I think everybody in this room. If we just started anew in the Russian penal colony, it would be uh, Putin would fucking really appreciate it. He would. We could he procreate. Like it, uh, we'll procreate. You know, I feel like it might be a jump start to prisoners of war. Yeah. Is it nice out there? In Russia? No, it's terrible. It's, <laughs> it snows all the time. Okay. And yeah, it's cold. They wouldn't that like... Uh, I don't know. They wouldn't like uh, a lot of the things we talked about on this podcast. No, they wouldn't. I mean... Just take me to Oregon. That's hell enough. You know yeah, what I'm saying? We've, no, we've been to Portland. It's terrible. <laughs> Guys, it's been the Leo and Danny show. We're wrapping this bitch up. Have a good one. See you next week. <laughs>